Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. <coughs> mm. Ooh, excuse me. Testing one, two, three. Hello, gamers. I'm back with another playthrough of Lost Judgment. Currently still on chapter 10. Um, I think I'm close to the end, I believe, since we're, you know, getting 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 a bit closer to the truth. You know? And once we get to the truth, everything will be set. Alright, let me go ahead and put my new layout right here. Alright, hello, 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 Ohio. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna make sure everything looks correct. Yep, perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and continue. <clears throat> go ahead and catch the tiger. If it's telling me to save on this spot, I'm probably going to have to go through a boss fight. Hold on one second. Okay. Take care of something. I last saved. Get this out of here quick. Cigarette bud. Why would I need a cigarette bud? Alright, come on, Suya. Sugira, let's go. Suya, Suya. Wait, how much health do I have left? Let me eat my. Beetle, Beetle. Get the snake. Oh, I want to get more of these. That's too much. I wish we'd had some sign of Kiwana san, but maybe we'll still get lucky. Are you ready to go, Yagami-san? Man, we might as well. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Exude. I saved at this point, so. Oh man, this looks familiar too. <laughs> man, where is this fucking guy? Oh no. Shit's <laughs> taking forever. <clears throat> yeah, it's not like anyone else is here. You think the cops got it wrong? Oh, man. What do we do? Keep looking? So many like a dragon reference. It seems like Kawana san's giving them a slip. What's the plan now? Let's find out what RK's gonna do when they catch Kawana. Are they planning to kill him themselves? What? You gonna just stroll up and ask him? Well, I only count four of them. So two each. Piece of cake. I guess. Okay, let's go. Hello, gentlemen. Got a couple questions for you. Huh? Who the hell are you two? You with the Kome Jewel? Wow, <laughs> they don't even recognize you, Yagami-san? Well, that's kind of sad. Sad indeed. What's going on here? Oh, not this fool. Huh? Uh, Yagami-san? I don't think it's just two each anymore. Yagami? Hey, that's the detective from Komurocho. A detective? Just get him! There with Kitakata! Fuck you! Let's get it started! Uh, Hope let me you're go ready ahead. to die! <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit! Why is this always happening? Let's go! This man shot me, he popped me three times, and I was it. What the fuck was that? Hold on, man. I got oh, something for his ass. Morons. Let's go. What the fuck, bitch? Oh my god. 
I'm not getting popped. I'm not getting popped. There's gotta be something in my items. Nope. Oh. Bro, I Shit, I'm gonna get popped. Fuck it. Man, get out my way! Oh my god! I'm dead. Oh my god. I need this. Don't run. Don't run. Probably gonna need armor for the final chapter. my dude. Three times, man. This game is so no mercy. <clears throat> that all you got? I thought there were more of you guys. Let's not jinx it, man. You guys came looking for Kuana, right? What were you gonna do to him? We were just told to catch him. Uh, not sure what comes after that. You sure the plan wasn't to kill him? I said I don't know! <clears throat> Who gave the order here? Soma? It was Akusa-san. Probably on Soma-san's orders, though. Hey, uh... Yagami-san? Oh, what's up? The Looming? Hey, how come Ijincho has so many creepy masks? Oh, the Jincho. I was just gonna ask you. Kuana's not here. Huh? That intel was fake. We were the ones who put it out. You live here? Then you must be Komichu. Normally, it's us hiring the handyman. But this time, it was Kuana asking the favor. Huh? To put out false information? Yes. He said he wanted to see what kind of enemy he was dealing with. And how they respond to an eyewitness report. Seeing as how easy police info made its way to these thugs, I'd say he was wise to use caution. Were he any closer, he would have been ensnared by now. So Kawana's nearby, watching everything unfold as we speak? He's really in a Jinsho then? We'll have to clear the room to discuss that. Hey! Why are you looking at me? 
Sorry. <laughs> As you said, what a kick. Kuanus returned to Ujincho. There are benefits to being here that only he can exploit. Where's he hiding out? Under the protection of Tesso from the Yokohama Leoma. But you're cleared to see him. We already took care of that. Kawana actually said he'd meet us? Hmm. Come on. There's a way through the cops don't know. You can get out to the city from there. <laughs> That'd be helpful, thanks. Guess you're not so bad after all. Bear in mind, you may not leave alive if you come back. You were never welcome here. And never mind. Damn. It's gonna be even harder here on out, man. I need to update my health. So, where do we find Kuwana-san? I'm sure the Liuma will lead us to him. Just so happens I've got a brother there named Tesso. <laughs> oh, what? Now let's get there before Kuwana changes his mind. Can you use my keyboard? <clears throat> Well, it's not letting me use my map. I can't use my skateboard. It sucks. What's up, though? I have left. Yeah, I can go for some food. No, 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 no. Oh, special pancakes. Alright. <clears throat> Starving. I'm starting to feel it. Pretty tasty. Thanks. Arigatou gozaimashita. And let's go ahead and head back to our destination. For nothing. Here we go. So you're Yagami Yanaki? Tesso san told me to let you in. <coughs> Yagami Aniki? <laughs> Shut up, man. Will you be coming inside? Alright, that means Kawana's back here. Went back there. Uh maybe I should prep before going in. Sure, let me pass. Sure, let me pass. This way, please. I guess it's gonna be another boss battle, huh? So I don't have no guns or no one hit KOs. <laughs> oh, look at the meat. They're having a the luxury of a lifetime. <laughs> Bro, hey man. Welcome back, friends. Tesso Aniki? Do I have to call you that? <laughs> Take your seat. And you too, buddy. This'll be fun. Which of your names should we be using for you now? Kawana? <coughs> or do you prefer Kitakata Sensei? Kitakata's a name that's been all but murdered by society. And Ijincho, I'm just a merry old handyman Kawana son. If you ask the cops, you're the murder suspect Kitakata. After killing Sawa Sensei, you fled the scene. At least, that's the story the police top brass are passing down through the ranks. Now, why would they say something like that about you? Calm down, Yagami. How come you never relax? So Kawana hired you guys from the start, and you pretended to not know each other in front of me? If that's the case, you really went all out for me. Didn't I tell you? The Liumang accepts anonymous requests, <clears throat> too. Tesso didn't know I was the one who hired him. I suppose there's no point in hiding that now. That's just how it is. Nothing to get mad over, bro. You really aren't hiding anything? Calling me bro. Did you tell him all you've done? <clears throat> he 
he's a former high school teacher who's going around killing bullies. Can't be much more to hide than that. Do you need to be more convincing? <laughs> Honestly, I'm at a loss. I worked my ass off to get where you are. And I'm still trying to untangle the mess you've made of it. You've got my student helpers by the throats. So I'm really backed into a corner here. You mean the graduates from Kurokawa Academy? Like Mamiya-san? Very good, Sugiira-kun. So how about it? No reason for us to doubt each other's intentions, right? <clears throat> All the secrets are out in the open now. Fine. Then I'm gonna light up. You were just over at Komijuo, weren't you? RK was looking for me there. The police even lent them a hand. Yeah. Well, now I'm even more confused. I give up. Who in the world could be after me? Who has influence over both RK and the police? Here to venture a guess? They'd be the uneducated guesses of a handyman. You got any bright ideas yourself, Master Detective? I haven't confirmed it for sure yet, but I have a pretty good theory for you. Oh? Uh -huh. Who? I just heard this from Detective Watanabe. The ones looking for Kwana are. The Public Security Division. That's what a detective from Kanagawa PD said. According to them, <coughs> you're the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's murder. That's why Kanagawa PD was told to lay off RK. Any trace of RK in the footage near Sawa Sensei's place is gone. Likely public security's work. And with that kind of backing, it's understandable why RK is so confident. Yo, hold up again. Why is public security after Kuwana in the first place? <coughs> Why is public security at the corner? Likely wishes of the specific individual. This is all to preserve RK. Public security doesn't want them to disappear. That's why they're trying to close the book on the case by saying Kuwana killed Sawasensei. <clears throat> but why? In Kamurocho, with the Tojo clan disbanded, ex Yakuza are scattered all over the place. RK has absorbed them into their network, and public security is monitoring them to keep the peace. Then why is RK after Kuwana-san? Was public security already helping them at that point? Huh? Well, uh, I'm not too sure. Come on. We're screwed if we can't figure this out. Right. Give me a sec to think. Public security is probably working for Reiko Kusumoto, Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. What? <coughs> Kawana, you had your students kidnap Shinya Kawai, right? Five years ago in Kamurocho? Kawai bullied Reiko Kusumoto's son, Mitsuruku. That painted a target on his back for you. But before you took Kawai out, you approached Reiko Kusumoto with your revenge offer, didn't you? Ahara told us that. Before taking revenge on a bully, you'd approach the family about it first. Did you make the same offer to Reiko Kusumoto? What if I did? She's the vice minister of the Ministry of Health. She's pretty popular. She's even cleaning up her <coughs> predecessor's mess. If it were to surface that she agreed to a revenge killing, they'd have yet another massive scandal on their hands. And if you get to go down in cuffs instead of a body bag, that detail may just come out. Before that can happen, Reiko Kusumoto plans to have me silenced and use public security to do it. Exactly. Except public security can't just go after you, so they subcontracted RK to do the dirty work. That would explain why public security is trying to cover for RK. I see. Well, the logic starts off soundly enough. Something wrong with it? Unfortunately, yes. Something does stick out. And what's that? I did, in fact, approach Kusumoto-san five years ago about taking revenge on Shinya Kawai. And just as you said, I used Mama Yakun and the others to kidnap Kawai. And? From that point on, Kusumoto-san knew I was directing Mama Yakun and the others. She'd seen their faces, knew their identities, everything. So, if Kusumoto-san <laughs> wanted to go after me, Mama Yakun and the others would be first on the list. But the fact is, 
Public security hasn't laid a finger on them, even now. Which means... Kusumoto-san isn't the one giving them orders. So, Reiko Kusumoto was given over to public security. She could have gotten to Kawana much quicker. Sure. That makes <clears> some <throat> sense. Hey, so, sorry if this is off topic, but... What was Kusumoto-san doing when Shinya Kawai was killed five years back? She was standing right there with me. Afterwards, she took three days of PTO. And that was a first for her. Why? Shinya Kawai died at the hands of Kusumoto-san. She drove the knife into his chest personally. She took it slow, making sure he suffered the whole time. Just like Akihiro Ehara, she avenged her son with her own two hands. I admire her. She killed Kawai herself? The current vice minister of the Ministry of Health committed murder? If that's true, she had to keep that hidden a long time. Afterward, she told me she'd never wash the smell of his blood off her hands. Damn, man. I was the only one who knew damn, that, man. by the way. The others have no idea. On that day, five years ago, I sent them straight home after they brought me Kawai. And I was the only one with Kusumoto-san when she killed him. This sounds way too crazy to be real. Even so, the fact is Kusumoto-san hasn't betrayed me. Besides, I doubt the Vice Minister is powerful enough to order public security around. Then who is giving them their orders? Well, I'd say your theory's on the right track. I'm sure public security contracted RK. It lines up with what's happened so far. I imagine they're so persistent because they know I can be used against Kusumoto-san. Either way, whoever's pulling the strings is someone who'll benefit from your capture. So if it isn't Reiko Kusumoto, maybe it's one of her enemies? An enemy? Yeah, like someone within the Ministry of Health. Or maybe even some kind of political rival. Nothing would be more valuable to them than dirt on Kusumoto, right? They're probably trying to take her down. Or they could threaten and manipulate her as they see fit. Is that why public security has been taking action? If they wanted to take her down, they could have had the police investigate her fair and square. Who is behind RK and the police security must be an enemy of Reiko uh, Kusumoto. That seems to be the most logical train of thought. Right. Kusumoto-san can walk away from the Ministry of Health anytime she wants. Plus, she has the public support, look especially with the younger crowd. All just more reasons for her to have enemies. I read some article about how even the Prime Minister has a hard time with her. Like, she'll get up in his face every time he signs an order. Dumbass loses so many arguments, he practically works for her now. So the Prime Minister is trying to find some dirt on Reiko Kusumoto? He's just an example. Weren't you listening when we said Kusumoto-san has lots of enemies in her position? Hey, don't be a dick. So whoever's behind this, may have been looking for a weakness in Kusumoto-san for a while. They must have got their start after realizing Ehara's case was really about getting revenge on a bully. That puts Ehara and Reiko Kusumoto in the same boat, being that their only sons were bullying victims. And if they discovered that Kawai also vanished five years ago. Regardless, that wouldn't account for the rest of the incidents where a bully ended up dead. You'd know. You're the one going up and down the whole country killing them off, aren't you? Kawai makes number seven. Seven? Damn, man. It wouldn't take much to connect the dots. A minute. It leads Where straight to, to her. Kaito? Reiko Kusumoto. Then they'd know that she was among the victims who got her revenge. Yeah. And then, to Ahara's case. The link between him and Kusumoto is clear as day now if you know what you're looking for. That link, Sawa Sensei. It took me a while, but I connected the two cases together myself. It was RK. She never should have even been on their radar. In fact, they traced your name from her. Sawa Sensei knew. She suspected you were involved with the Mikoshiba murder in one way or another, right? You don't care. 
You see your killing spree on these former bullies like you're doing the country a service. In your eyes, this is vengeance. Actually, no. You'd call it justice, wouldn't you? Except... Sawa Sensei wouldn't have died if it was. That was never my intent. She shouldn't have died. No. You don't get to just brush her off like that. Like an afterthought. You had to have known you'd go down for this eventually. And you're fine if all your old students like Yui Mamiya go down with you. By then, why would you look back at your trail of blood? Why would you clean up all your carnage? It's not your problem, right? You move forward with one purpose. Send as many bullies to hell as you can. Beyond that, you don't give a shit what happens. Sawa Sensei died in tears. <clears throat> you didn't see what I saw. The fear she must have felt was still frozen on her face. You, Ahara, Reiko Kusamoto, you're all murderers. And so far, all of you have gotten away with it. So why did Yoko Sawa end up having to pay the price? Tell me, will you even be able to look her in the eye when you die? I doubt it. That's gonna follow me well into the afterlife. Hmm. So what now, then? March to the cops and turn myself in? You should. If you don't do exactly that, no one will know why she had to die. And that'll be the end of her story. Everyone will keep on dancing around her death, even though she was completely innocent. Just like the cops are doing. Afraid I can't do that. If I turn myself in now, there's only one thing that happens. Public security takes me out. And worse, Reiko Kusumoto would be compromised. And that, I will never allow to happen. Of all the people involved in this, she deserves to walk free. Her revenge was justified. You think so? All she did was scrape off the scum of the earth that pushed her only son into an attempted suicide. She didn't sit around crying about a legal miscarriage. She took justice into her own hands. No one has any right to indict her for that. So don't go there. Nobody lays a finger on her. <coughs> hey, skinny ginger kid. Hmm. Looks like this is going to turn into a little more than a chat. <laughs> but it'd be a showdown. So is your plan to Ready kill for me round too? two? Anyone who interferes with your justice, we all get added to your body count, don't we? The punishment fits the crime. You're just blind. If you can't see that, then you can go to hell! Oh shit. Stay out of my way. Let's go. Gotcha. What time? Brutality. Shit. Gotcha. Reebok kick. Turia. <laughs> Ratatouille. Come on. Nani? Ooh, no. God damn. Mm -hmm. 
hill again. You got a toner on you. Hold in. Get my beat to And let's rock and roll! What the fuck? Ugh. Dang, you fucked me. Come on, Yagami. Get up! Fuck the Opal Kim, bitch. Sleep mode. <laughs> Has this been going now? I lost track. Call it? Nah. They're gonna tire out eventually. Beating the shit out of each other is the way some people communicate. <laughs> I can see that. Just like in Virtual Fighter. <laughs> Ooh, damn. That had hurt. <laughs> I got some strong teeth. Come on, holy shit. There we go. Now it's done. Yeah, it's about that time. <laughs> Haven't you had enough yet? What? You think it's time to give it a rest? Hell no. Stay out of our way. <laughs> You're not looking so hot. <sighs> Lucky I stopped when I did, you know. I had a move lined up with your name on it. You're the <laughs> one who got lucky as far as I'm concerned. I was about to kick your ass. <laughs> <sighs> what a fucking mess, guys. <sighs> what? Stuff's great. No. Mm, delicious. Man, this is the good stuff. Yo, that's unexpected. So that means yeah, Rico Kusumoto could be being targeted by public security. Right. They just it's pull off an of MCU the in this game. Wants to catch me as leverage against Kusumoto-san <coughs> on public security orders. And I'm not talking about the Japanese rapper. But that's only public security really is behind this. You're the one who said you got that info from a cop. Well, someone up top's been putting pressure on the investigation. That much is clear. But no matter how you slice it, the fact that you're enemy number one while RK roams free is absurd. Unfortunately, all I got out of that cop was that public security itself is who we're up against. I'm probably gonna have to save that clip. Is Japan's top intelligence agency. If they're after you, there's no escape. Agreed. And I guess now's a good time to make a suggestion. Huh? Hmm? Tell me, who benefits the most from you two fighting? Huh? <clears throat> That'd be public security. The more you drag each other down, the easier they'll be able to get the jump on you. By the time you <laughs> notice, it's too late. They've got you. And that's exactly what they'd want, right? But what if you two work together? You 
watch each other's backs and act before RK and public security do. We might even be able to find out who's pulling the strings. Huh. Yeah. For two enemies to join forces, there needs to be an even greater threat to fight. Sure. I'm on board with that. Fine, but this is only temporary. Once we've finished with public security, I'm gonna make sure you answer for what you've done. Okay. Yeah, that was a nice uh, cameo, we man. Should we just <clears throat> storm public security at this point? No. First, we need to confirm public security is really the enemy we're after. Right. We'll make our move after that. We have the element of surprise. They have no idea we're working together. Then we'll use it to our advantage and outsmart them. <laughs> Aw, look at the boys playing nice. If public security's trying to find some leverage against Kusumoto-san, they'll likely be listening in on her. They're the experts in wiretapping and espionage, after all. We just need a quick confirmation. How? <laughs> we'll just give her a call. Right here? Yes. That way, her enemy will trace the call and pinpoint our location. Okay, we are and first, public security is taste, the only man. one in Japan who can pull that off, so we'll know right away if it's them. Can't wait for Yakuza 8 now. <laughs> Thinking. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold up! You saying if you call up Reiko Kusumoto, then the bad guys will start pouring in? Can we maybe not do that here? Actually, that might just work in our favor. Huh? Bro, why are you talking crazy? Uh, Yagami-san, you sure about getting on bro terms without Kaito-san? Wouldn't that bum him out? Whoa. This is amazing. What is this? Good shit, huh? You've got good taste, bro. <laughs> I knew you, you of all people would notice the difference. <laughs> Cameo, yo! Kuana, when was the last time you spoke to Reiko Kusumoto? Five years ago. On the night she killed Kawai. We arranged it, so we'd never contact each other after that. So you have her number then? If it hasn't changed. What is it then? I have an idea. What? We're gonna set a trap to find out if we really are up against public security. If they trace the call and they send people for us, then we know for sure it's them. That's why we're gonna call Reiko Kusumoto using a location that doesn't exist at all. How's that work? We'll use two phones that can't be traced back to us, and we'll relay your voice. Obviously, you won't be wherever we do this from. Best to do this someplace with no one around. Once we see who they send in, mission accomplished. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. You'll catch up, Sugiyuraku. First, we need to know our enemy. I'll have Tsukumo prep us some burner phones. Which means... a truce for the time being? Yes, sir. Only while you're here. Gotta keep things civil for my brother. <laughs> Man, Zhao Sun's cooking makes even the suckier situations not suck. Exactly. Just to that. Let me let me save that. Bruh, that was that was nice. That was a nice cameo. Hey, oh, let me let me save So real quick. already got the phones ready. They're burners that can't be traced back to us. Two of them, right? Just like you asked for. Nicely done, Yokohama 99. You work quick. Now, time to go see Sukumono. A uh, Sukumo. That's not Sukumono. <laughs> Bro, that. <sighs> can we go back? Wait, we can go back in. <sighs> what? 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 Where's Zhao? What? Where's Zhao, lady? Where, where have you done? What are you, what are you doing with Zhao? Oh God! Yeah, let me get that fried rice. Where shall I get this drink to? It's now. Starving. Pretty tasty. Thanks. Can't believe it, man. Move, man. <laughs> Bruh, I can't believe it. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chotamate, chotamate. Is that the ball, dude? It is. Come on, Sugura. 
Oh no, that's not that's not a ball dude, but I'm still gonna whoop ass. Oh shit! Oh no, I can't I'm not losing to the likes of you, my boy. Even if I use all my EXP. Let's get dangerous. I came here for. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. That's what I just said. Let's get some food first. Ooh, why? <coughs> What's an egg burger? Ooh, yeah. Starving. Pretty tasty. Thanks. All right, let's go. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya, ha, see ya, see ya, ha, see ya, see ya, ah, uh ha. -huh. Excuse me, so to mate. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm alive. Okay. Are you? Who are people? That was insane. That cameo, man. I can't believe you put Sal in this game. Ah, just the two I've been waiting for. Excellent work, by the way. <clears throat> hey, got those burner phones ready? <laughs> of course I do. Who do you think I am? I still don't fully get what's going on. Yagami-san, what are we going to do with these? Okay, I'll break it down. First, we call Kawana on one phone. <coughs> Let's say this one here. Then we use this other phone to call Reiko Kusamoto. Using them that way. The phones won't be connected to each other, but their voices will be relayed so they can talk normally. Oh, okay. And then? If public security finds out Reiko Kusamoto's talking to Kawana, they'll trace the call without actually finding it. Then we can see exactly who they send without risk of being seen ourselves. <coughs> mm -hmm. I think I'm getting it. Surely you don't intend to do that here, do you? <laughs> that would put a beacon on us for Kawana-san's enemies. Yeah, we'll do it somewhere remote. We need a place where nobody would raise an eyebrow at an army of public security boys. And it's gotta have a good vantage point. Hmm. There's a building under construction not far from here. It's late, so no one should be around that may get involved unintentionally. Where is it? It's right near Sayrio High. There's a crane by the river, too. You'll know when you see it. Okay, you two stay put. I should be able to handle this alone. Yeah. Uh, you sure about that? <clears throat> Let me at least put out a drone, Yagamishi. Even if it isn't much. I'll use it to capture the faces of Kawana-san's pursuers. <laughs> That'd be good. Now we head to. Oh, we got it all the way up here? It's fine with me. So I can use my skateboard! What the fuck? Oh shit, I'm still drunk. I'm still drunk. Damn, shit. When you're drunk. Shit. Shit. 
No! You know what? Rebox kick. Your next buddy. Ooh, whoa, Jackie Bryant. I did a somersault kick. Chill out, my dude. Alright. No, sidewalk, no. Hell yeah. Shit, oh, fuck it. The man dead. Oh, he went ghost. He drowned. Oh, come on, man. Oh, what the? Now we're not having that gun shit. Oh. Who's shooting me? Take that, O'Connell. That ass band. Oh, you. Come here. No guns allowed. Crazy. The 
This must be the construction site Sukumo was talking about. <clears throat> This is Tsukumo. Yagami Sheep, I've confirmed your position. Not too many yeah. to hide. I think I can spot whoever comes close from here. I'm gonna call Kawana on the burner now. Understood. It's Kawana. You ready? I'm about to call <coughs> Reiko Kusumoto. Once you're connected, you take it from there. It's been five years since I last spoke to her. Yeah. Can't imagine this won't be awkward. I know. Okay, do it. You want to put tape? <laughs> <coughs> Let's see how this goes. Am I still in a coma? There she go, Rico. Yes, <clears throat> hello. This is Kitakata from Kurokawa Academy. What? You'll have to forgive me for this, but the position I'm in required me to reach out to you. I would never have done this otherwise. I should also note, there's a high probability this phone call is being tapped. I see. Very well, then. It's been 13 years, Kusumoto-san. So it has. <clears throat> Kitakata-sensei. I've read about your accomplishments. To think you'd become a vice minister. You never really know how things are going to work out. Ah, but that's not true at all, Kusumoto-san. You were always destined to move up in the world. I've got to be honest with you. A woman as virtuous and as capable as you deserves the world and then some. <clears throat> but... How is Mitsuru-kun? I'm afraid he's still asleep. Nothing's changed. I see. I wish I had the words. What is it you wanted? If you've been watching the news, you've probably already heard. I've become a prime suspect for a crime. To think I murdered Yokosawa in her apartment. I've heard. Obviously, it wasn't me who killed her, of course. Do you happen to remember Sawa-kun by any chance? The girl from your class. She was the only one of those students who ever came to visit Mitsuru. But even then, that's been at least ten years now. I got a letter from her once. She wanted to tell me she'd become a teacher. But I never did reply. And that was the last I'd heard from her. I see. So back to my question. What do you want? I hope you weren't planning to ask me for a favor. I'm afraid the answer would be no. No, it's not that. It's just... I wanted to let you know that at some point, someone may come to you to ask a few questions about me. I thought I should give you a heads up. I'll make every effort to ensure they won't cause any trouble for you, Kusumoto-san. I'm sorry about this. I'll try to handle it from my side. So in your opinion, then, do you believe anything related to you could cause me any trouble? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be just fine. We're almost to the signal. Kill the headlights. Two cars inbound. Looks like we were right on the money. This proves Reiko Kusumoto's phone is compromised. And if there's one organization capable of tracing a call and moving on it, it's got to be public security on the hunt for Kawana. Public security is really coming straight to you by car? No. There's no way they could mobilize their people that quickly. <clears throat> My guess? It's got to be the prefectural police that they've got in their pocket. Or it's just RK. I will say it's been great to hear your voice again. But this should be the last time you ever hear from me. I'll try my best. I understand. Goodbye. Oh 
man, here come the RK. <clears throat> hey, look, it's a drone. It has a phone attached to it. Shoot it, shoot it down. You sure? Uh, just take it down. Hurry it up. But put it in there. Hey, what the fuck are you aiming at? I can't hit it. It's too small. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you Damn, suck. Dude. How the hell are we supposed to chase down a drone? And where the fuck is this Kuana guy? Who knows, man? They called us in to catch this shithead, but how the hell are we supposed to do that? It's fucked up. Do we look like spec ops? <laughs> spec yeah, ops. Yeah, right. But at least you gotta shoot that thing. <laughs> this is my second time, actually. I took a few shots at some kids in a park. I aimed at the ground and sent those little shits running for their lives. <laughs> We're done here. Pack it in. That's six punks and only one gun between you by my count. Who the yeah. fuck are you? It was you guys in charge. I'm sure Kiwana would have had this whole thing solved a long time ago. Well, then again, I suppose I do have to give you credit for how fast you made it here. Ugh, that was my gun, asshole! Who's the one giving the orders? You may as well just level with me. You guys are RK's bottom Here we runner. go again. He sounds like you must know Kuana. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going to be leaving here empty-handed after all. Come on! We're taking this guy in, boys! Fuck him up! Hmm. <laughs> Everybody telling me to, telling me to like, you know, For real? You know they're gonna fuck me up. They're not Majima. Only Majima can fuck me up. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh hell no. Alright, trying to get some drink. That's all I got. Alright, man, chill out with the punches. You bitch! Down sunshine. Oh shit. What the? I'm tired of you, man, with that bullshit. Free box kick. Hey. Who sent you here? The order came from the head honchos in RK. You mean Soma? Not that high up. It was one of the bosses. There's a bunch of them. 
What did they tell you to do once you found Kiwana? They just said to catch him. Well, they also made it very clear not to kill him. <laughs> like we'd pull the trigger. We never even heard what our cut was. Just another useless grunt. <laughs> tell me, gentlemen. How would you feel if you found out you were just pawns in public security's game? Uh, we're playing what game now? I suggest you quit RK while you can. Go tell your buddies, get them out too. Otherwise, they'll keep you in the dark, use you and toss you aside. And then, you'll end up in a ditch there's no crawling out of. Chapter 10 is really long. Yes? Pardon me. You would be Reiko Kusumoto, correct? Sir, it's a little late for this. And how'd you get in here in the first place? I've expressly forbid having visitors. <laughs> Calm now. I'm a coordinator with the National Police Bureau, but I'm sure you're familiar with my division of public security. Bondo is my name, ma'am. Are you now? Well, I'm afraid coordinator is rather vague. I have a more public-facing title as well, of course. But I'm trying to be discreet here, so let's not get bogged down with minor details. It's in our best interests. I'm afraid that won't help. I've already seen to that. Hmm. What is this? It's a question I need answered with some urgency, Kusumoto-san. It concerns the disappearance of a certain individual. Huh. About five years ago, a man <clears throat> vanished off the streets of Kamurocho. I'm sure you'll recognize him. A former classmate of Mitsuru could be here. Shinya Kawai. I believe there are things you might know. I can say that with some level of certainty, as a matter of fact. Alright, chapter 10 is completed. It's time to uncover. shadow looms over Yagami and Kuwana. Japan's National Intelligence Agency Public Security fixes its gaze on Reiko Kuzumoto of the Ministry of Health. Heard the name Bondo Five before. years ago, Kuwana prompted her to take revenge on Shinya Kawai for pushing her son to the brink. Oh no. Secrets can only lie dormant so long. And upon their waking, chaos ensues. Chapter 11, Undercover. A few days later, done it again, Tsukumo. Can't believe you found it. <laughs> I figured Mitsuru Kusumoto would be in one of the better hospitals around the health ministry. That narrowed it down to just a few locations. Then I pinpointed the exact one through sheer determination. And that led you to Toto University Hospital. So Mitsuru is still lying in a coma there? Yep. Reiko Kusumoto has been visiting her son every night for the past 13 years even after she became vice minister. Mm. If you gentlemen want to meet her in person, that would be your best chance. Yagami, 
Come to the you taxi. seriously think you can convince Reiko Kusumoto to turn herself in? Well, I'm gonna try at least. She's at the top of the food chain. If it comes out that she committed murder, the whole country's gonna lose it. If they hadn't tried to hide it, nobody else would have needed to pay for it. Sawa sensei. Yeah. You're right. And if she confesses to killing Kawhi, public security will run out of reasons to keep defending RK. So in theory, that should free up the police to pursue Soma about Sawa sensei. Totally agree with you there. But Kawana-san's against that, right? Didn't he say he wouldn't let her turn herself in? Yeah. That's why he's not in the loop on this. So, you're just gonna show up? You do know she's probably surrounded by public security at all times, don't you? Just means we gotta be prepared for that. Like the professional detectives we are. Prepared? How? <laughs> just leave it to us. Yagami-san, I gotta go get ready. Let's meet at Toto University Hospital. Got it. See ya. <laughs> so what do you need from me in this, Yagami? Got any old acquaintances in RK? Think you can find out where Soma and Akutsu are? <laughs> you forget who you're talking to? Why wouldn't I be able to cover that? I knew a few ex-Tojo guys who go in and out of RK on the regular. Thanks. Watch your back. If they find out you're spying on them, they won't like it. I'll be ready. Like the professional ex-Yakuza I am. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> he's rough around the edges, but in the end, he comes through. Yeah. Turns out he's got extra time on his hands. Why don't you hire him at your office, Yagamishi? <laughs> I'll talk about that with Kaito-san once he recovers. Anyway, sorry Tsukumo. We have to take Sukiura from you again. <laughs> Why start apologizing now? It's all good. We'll talk again soon. I should head to Total University Hospital and convince Riko Kusumoto to turn herself in. Alright, before we do that. <coughs> hello, 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 banana. <coughs> <coughs> We need to go to I wanna to go to the pawn shop real quick since that's around the corner. So you can get some armor or something. ありがとうございます。Right now I'm here to buy. Oh shit, I didn't mean to Alright. So let's go ahead and equip myself. Now let's go ahead and go to the nearest purple shop.
いらっしゃいませですえっとね焼きそばですそうですかおおしゃありがとうございます。あれ、あの、マニー。おお、あげもん。そんなんで、ごのおでタクシー。ジャッジメント2、エレクトリックブーグルー。わさび、ミスター・ベン、ビスビン、ウォー。Did you、uh, get the game yet? Not yet, still putting it in my office slash gaming room. Oh, that's cool. Don't worry. I'll give it back to you after this. I'm sure it's bugged. And we wouldn't want anyone listening in now, would we? Oh, there's there's something I want to talk to you about、uh, probably after I'm done with this we'll game. We'll take a few laps around the block and then drop you back off at the hospital. I'm sorry, but we just need a bit of your time. I'm working on another project. <laughs> We're just local detectives. If you catch my drift. Kitakata Sensei is an acquaintance of ours. We know about Mitsuru kun. And we know that five years ago, a man named Shinya Kawai mysteriously disappeared and died. I have no idea what you're saying. But you do. I know how this must come across right now. So I assure you, we aren't the ones posing a threat. Fine. What is it you want then? All I want is the truth. In your own words. About Shinya Kawai. And how you carried out his murder. You're mistaken. I didn't do it. The other day you received a call from Kitakata Sensei, didn't you? He goes by the name Kawana now and works as a handyman in Ijincho. He made that call because we needed to confirm something. Confirm what? <clears throat> Whether or not you were being watched by public security. Public security, you say? Is she surprised at all? Or maybe she already had a hunch? As it turns out, you are. Your cell phone is bugged. It can even use GPS to trace who's on the other end of the line. That kind of trace is only possible with cooperation from the cellular providers. Unless your public security <coughs> could pull something like that off in secret. They want to hit you where you're vulnerable. And that's what you are now after Kawana. Do you understand, Kusumoto san? <sighs> you must really be something special. You were never in this job for yourself. It fell into your lap as your predecessors <clears throat> fell like dominoes. That's why you don't owe anyone anything. You're free of constraints. And Mitsuru kun's tragedy even gained you public sympathy on top of it. Combine all that with a capable bureaucrat like you, there's no telling what you could accomplish. You're cleaning up house, tackling the revolving door problems. Things you know are the right moves, <coughs> but with no regard for the consequences. I understand even the cabinet gauges your opinion, since you have so much public support. But I think that's also made you some enemies. Most likely, whoever's holding public security's leash. I have more than a few enemies. I'm well aware of that. And I have no doubt public security would comply with them. To be quite frank, public security only exists to maintain the status quo. The establishment is made up of various powers which control politics and finance. But naturally, each branch has its own agendas, goals, ideas of justice. 
which leads to all sorts of issues and hindrances, which you call constraints. The more individuals who make up society, the more unavoidable that is. Are you implying it's public security's job to loosen those constraints? <laughs> There's more to it than that. The world we live in requires <coughs> all kinds of value systems to coexist, even in chaos. But if you loosen the constraints too far, the fall of the state is inevitable. In that regard, public security's role is to stabilize and maintain the state, even while bound by constraints. In other words, the constraints of these powers are precisely what are protected by public security. So the fact that I am not caught up in all that does, indeed, make me something of a pesky foreign object. A pesky foreign object. I see. So to these establishment people, you're something to be excised. Hmm? I guess there's bullying among adults in high places, too. Yeah. Now we know why they were looking for any kind of weakness in you. And that's when they turned the spotlight on Shinya Kawai's disappearance. An event that was triggered by Akihiro Ohara's case. You know the one, I presume. Yes. An active duty policeman exacted revenge on the bully who drove his son to suicide. Your enemies must have heard that and thought to themselves, what would Reiko Kusamoto have done to her son's bully? I'm guessing that's what prompted public security to make their move. As the details of Ahara's case came to light, a group of thugs calling themselves RK started looking for Shinya Kawai, all to find out that he was kidnapped five years ago, probably killed. I never did anything out of revenge. Actually, she doesn't. <clears throat> she wasn't going to devolve. Any secrets uh, haven't just met me, and I don't have enough evidence to make her talk. Damn. Even after finding out Kawhi disappeared, public security still had to verify. But if they found out you were involved, that'd be a win for them. They finally know Reiko Kusumoto's weakness. How long are you going to keep talking? As public security figured out, the bullying cases involving Toshiro Ihara and your son share a common link. That link being Sawa-sensei. She was Mitsuru-kun's classmate and Toshiro Ahara's teacher. Not only that, she was also linked to Ahara's murder victim, Hikoshiba. She was his master teacher. So, not long after the murder, RK came to Ijincho and broke into her home. That must have been when they got Kawana's name out of her. I think Sawa-sensei suspected that Kawana was involved in Mikoshiba's murder. Then Soma steps in with his professional interrogation skills to beat and scare her into spilling everything. Mm. Kusumoto-san, you knew she was killed, right? Kawana should have told you over the phone. Wait, are you not one of his colleagues? He said he wouldn't cause me any trouble and that he would never call me again. Kawana and I are competitors on a temporary ceasefire. We're not colleagues. She's been flustered since I mentioned Sawa since his name. This is my chance to ask her questions. I can't ask anyone else. Hmm. I have to ask you about Shinya Kawai. You killed him five years ago. With your own hands, didn't you? I understand what your feelings must be towards Kawhi, but was that really the only answer? If you've spoken to Kitakata-sensei, then you must know about the video of how Mitsuru was treated. I do. Aside from Kawhi, the other students pretended like nothing happened. They took no responsibility. They put on their sad faces and they came to visit Mitsuru at the hospital. But looking back on it now, I don't think they really wanted Mitsuru to wake up. In fact, that's what they were checking on. And what did I do? I bowed my head and thanked them. It was only later that Kitakata-sensei showed me the video. A 
that's when I knew that those kids going unpunished was wrong. So you better go Pamela Voorhees. And your solution was to pull them into the quagmire? Make them accomplices in murdering Kawhi? If you already know so much, what more do you need to ask? Has anybody from public security contacted you? Have you been approached by any strangers? I have my suspicions. What are their names? I imagine what they wanted was to exploit your weakness to control you. Because if all they yeah, wanted was up. to eliminate you, some kind of accident would be easily arranged. You're uh, talking yes. about uh, putting together yes, like an office right. gaming room. Do you have any idea what these people are after? Do you mind sharing? What they want is control of the pension fund, which is under the health ministry's jurisdiction. Pension fund? An independent agency within the ministry manages the National Pension Fund. It's taxpayer funded, and it's worth 160 trillion yen. What? And certain groups want to take bigger risks with that money in order to generate more profit. In other words, they want the health ministry to use taxpayer money to gamble. They believe that's the only way to rebuild Japan's faltering economy and secure the future of this country. I mean, would it work? Of course. If the gamble actually pays off. But if we lost the gamble, then we wouldn't be able to guarantee anything for the citizens of this country in their golden years. That's why the health ministry manages those funds conservatively. Even if it means the returns are lower. Okay. I'm starting to understand now. You do? Don't leave me in the dust, yagami -san. To be able to gamble all this taxpayer money to save the economy, they need a change of management. And here's Kusumoto-san, head of the office. And she's beyond the control of even the ministers. Her position has the power to take action, to override the way the pension fund is managed. But not only does Kusumoto-san have the power, she has the support of the people. If a new vice minister were to try it, oh, the, the, about the project. Oh, yeah, no, it hasn't popped up. So that's why they wanted to find her. Well, I'll DM you about it. Exactly. And if the 160 trillion yen gamble were to fail, you can blame the whole thing on Kusumoto san anyway. Okay. But wow. 160 trillion. <sighs> I'm guessing they've already contacted you about it. That's an assumption. All right, one last question for her. How is your son doing? How's your son doing now? He could wake up any minute now. Of course, that's been true for the last 13 years. I see. We transferred him to Toto University Hospital just this year, hoping they could spur his recovery. But it turns out that they don't good. do anything much different from the previous hospital. All I can do is wait. I get it now. Let me reiterate. We are not your enemy. Then please, let me go. Anything you want me to tell Kawana? I do. He needs to run. Far away. Public security has their sights on him. He needs to go to America. His capture is not a question of if, but when. He's in danger if he remains in the country. And once public security has him, they will extract everything he knows. You mean he'd be tortured? Yes. Somewhere well beyond the public eye. No one can withstand what they do. He'd tell them everything. And as for me... Oh, okay. I see you. Making you their pawn. Okay, yeah, I'll contact you on Discord. They gamble away the taxpayers' money, and I'd never purge the corruption in the health ministry. I get that. What does it matter? What? Because, in my opinion, you need to turn yourself in, Kusumoto san. <laughs> You want me to admit to manslaughter? You think I killed a real man? 
I say he was less than one. Shinya Kawai. He was little more than a subhuman brute. And you saw it. You saw what that brute did to my son. Mm. I hated Kitakata Sensei. He was an incompetent teacher. An idiot who turned a blind eye to Mitsuru being tortured. But that changed when he suddenly showed up. Yeah, years YouTube later. indeed. And then he showed me that video. I do. I have to be honest. YouTube needs to like update some of their uh, bully in that certain video. their features during streams they and stuff. Like, to be punished. I mean, at least I like, give rules and way stuff. To get closure. You took him up on it, but you of all people should have known better. True. You're right about that. Oh yeah, they're really good. I struggled with it quite a bit. It's an unconscionable act, no matter how deep your animosity runs. But Kitakata Sensei's words hung on. I couldn't get them out of my head. I saw for myself. I went to Kamrocha where I'd heard Kuai was working at a girls' bar. So you know, after Mitsuru jumped that day, Kuai came to me in tears to apologize. I hadn't seen him in all that time. If he'd frozen in place when he saw me, if he'd been the slightest bit apologetic, I might have been able to stay my hand. I take it he didn't do any of that. <laughs> right. He didn't even recognize my face. And that's hardly the worst part of it, actually. When he saw me, he took me for some bawdy cougar on the prowl for young men. If you've got the cash, I'll show you a good time, he said. <laughs> All those tears he'd shed years earlier were a farce. But I knew them. Deep down, I'd already known that. Uh oh She pissed. That was it. That was the moment I lost all doubt about killing him. And as for those other kids who bullied Mitsuru, they should thank me they didn't share his fate. But that's why. That's why I don't feel like I have any sins to atone for. Every night. Every night I pray he will wake up. What more can you ask me to endure? Kawana said something similar. But you think you can repeat all that? This time say it to her. <sighs> Sawa sensei. Isn't that Sawa san? You and Kawana can congratulate yourselves. You got vengeance on a monster. But what you're choosing not to see is that your actions have consequences for her. It's vicious. I've seen this before. Justice for one at the cost of another. Someone innocent always pays the price. I won't. I won't just sit here and watch as history tries to repeat itself. Damn right, Yagi son. Damn right, Yagi son. Damn right. His phone isn't being traced by anyone. So, if you have a change of heart, just give me a call before you turn yourself in. Tech wreck. That's all I had to say. We're back. Plus you get 5G on that phone. <laughs> Shh. Be ball, we ball, we quiet. They just took her around the block. That was a long ass conversation. <laughs> Getting DLC. In Jin Show, you're right here, okay, Yagami san? Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to Kawana. How you change clothes Need to real tell fast. him I met with Reiko Kusamoto. He's gonna be pissed, you know? He's gonna try to rip you a new one. That's true. So you might want to sit this one out. <laughs> you sure? Because I'll totally take you up on that. Alright. 
All right, come on, man. Oh, it's still loading. Damn, I want to use my skateboard. Let me, let me get some space real quick. Uh, get over this corner. Oh, shit. No, the coin. Screw it. Oh, 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 Chota Mate. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, god damn it. I'm right my face, man. Oh shit! This ain't Mortal Kombat. Uh oh. Oh no no no. Got him. Really, guys? Now you see some action, Din. <laughs> All right, let's go over. Oh, upstairs. Yeah. Well, Tessa? look who we have here. Haven't seen your mug in a while. Me neither. It's only been two or three days. Where's Kawana? Hmm, how should I put this? <laughs> Would you freak out if he was right behind you? You know, this kind of shit is why you get on my nerves. <laughs> Couldn't we have done this by phone? You want to go round three, huh? I just came from seeing Reiko Kusumoto. I told her to turn herself in for murdering Kawhi five years ago. You hey, what? What, you? <laughs> what did she have to say about that? Danda! But she had no sins to atone for. Of course not. Look, what do you think you're doing? Her part in this is done. Don't drag her back into it. This really? isn't yours to finish. You would just let Sawa Sensei stay <clears throat> collateral damage. How do you think her folks feel? They probably think you killed their daughter. And they don't know why, or if justice will be served. Do they have to suffer like that? All without even knowing the truth? <sighs> Would Sawa Sensei want that? You talk about justice, but she keeps getting left out. You aren't even trying when it comes to her. Say whatever you want, but if you cause Kusumoto-san any more pain, I will never forgive you. Hmm. That's exactly why I didn't tell you I was going to meet her. Listen, Yagami. She hides it well, but she's never gotten over the fact Mitsuru tried to jump to his death. I'm back. And she's not sure how to feel about killing Kawai. Unlike me. If she was anything like you, I would have pushed her harder to confess. There's no evidence that she killed Kawai. He simply vanished from Kamrocho, and the police didn't even know about it. Besides, there's no case without a corpse. Point being, she'll never be charged. Alright, Kawana has Kawai's body hidden somewhere. I remember you and Mamiya said so. Even if she did turn herself in, the police wouldn't know what to do with her. Don't think for a second that you're getting a pass here. You've killed, what, seven people now? Do you even hesitate anymore? <laughs> you got proof? running around making baseless accusations. You sure you were a real fucking lawyer? I'll the tell you, I can tell you. Getting ready to appeal Ahara's case. Your actions are going to be put under a microscope. I wouldn't even call that bad news. I want the world to know their bullies are getting what they're due. And by then, I'll probably be going by a different name, maybe even a different look. You're just going to keep doing this? Did Sawa Sensei sacrifice mean nothing to you? Is that the only thing keeping you around? Truth be told, I don't think exposing everything is even in Sawa's best interest. What? Sawa Kun herself felt guilty. I just sent you the proof. What's this? What is this? An audio file? After Ahara san lost in court, she called me. I recorded our conversation. Toshiro kun came running to the roof. His face was pretty swollen. And a few minutes later, a student named Mikoshiba came up looking for him. I'll never.
never forget the fear I saw in Toshiro-kun's face. He told me about everything. The teasing, the beatings, the theft. How nobody was on his side. Hmm. And yet, I had to deny all this in front of an entire courtroom. They said there was no hope. That I was the only witness with no proof whatsoever. Believe me, I never wanted to do that. Sawakun's testimony in court was false, and she was racked with guilt over it. And your first thought was to record it? When she was at her most vulnerable? Yes. And then I played it for ihara san he had the right to know the real reason his son killed himself. All you did was light the fires of vengeance in Ahara's heart because you didn't want to be alone. You know, I've heard that bullying is almost instinctive. That's why people who do it never stop. I mean, think about it. Would you stop cleaning a toilet just because it'll get filthy again? Somebody's always got to get his hands dirty. And that somebody's gonna be you? If it means I can prevent another Mitsuru Kusumoto, yes, I will keep killing. Mm. These bastards who prey on the defenseless must be punished for all to see. I wish the law would do its job. Because deep down, I don't want to do any of this. I understand what you're saying, but you're taking it too far. Just stop, Kawana. If you really want to stop me, you're gonna have to kill me, and call it justice. <sighs> I thought you guys were gonna start another fight. I wouldn't mind that at all. I was a bitch cleaning up the mess last time. <laughs> Next time I go up against him, it won't be just a few scratches. Well, when that time comes, oh, take it anywhere again. but here. Okay. Alright, I'm back. I think I'll call it a day. I should go about 99 and rest up. Can't use my skateboard? Oh shit. Looks like I'm in a jam, boys. Oh fuck. I know you felt that impact. That's all Joe Valentine. Get Tetsu Sanko. I don't waste. All right, now we can move on. Da 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 da. Oh, you messed up my groove. Oh shit. What Revox kick. All right. And stay down. I was that. Oh yeah. Da 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 da. The old wrong way. Da 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 da. Ba 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 say ka. Ba 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 say ka.
Alright, time to rest up, my friends. Yes. <clears throat> Good morning. Hello? Shirosaki, are you in Yokohama again, Yagami-san? Yes. Yeah. Is this about Ahara's trial? Yes. Regarding the appeal. The prosecution says they want to consult with us. Off the record. Off the record? What do you mean? They want to discuss like with the judge beforehand whether or not Ahara's murder footage is admissible evidence. The video has gone viral, of course, and nobody's really sure how to handle it. Is the prosecution really going to hold the line on it being a deep fake? That's quite possible. Which is why we're meeting today in the courthouse conference room. I'm sorry for the short notice, but could you join us? Of course. I'll be there. Thank you very much. No need to rush. There's still plenty of time. Just be sure you're there, please. I should take a taxi to the courthouse of the dead. Alright, taxi time, taxi time. Oh shit, I got no money. Ah. Uh. Where is the nearest pawn shop? The pharmacy. Oh shit. I gotta start selling shit. Sell this pebble. Small screw. Oh, you the do Oh man, they still got the same people from the other game. Get all my taxi money. Oh, it's good so far. Very deep into the story. Um, it it, it kind of drags on a little bit, like certain chapters, but it's, it's still good. I'm almost I'm almost done. I think. Go over here. I'm try to avoid some enemies. Uh. To go to taxi. Well, that's the nearest taxi. We can go over here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck! Ugh! Okay. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to do a trick. Alright, let's go over here. Open the door! Let's go to Tokyo District. So let's be on our way. So what you're saying is, 
Yui Mamiya was not a victim of sexual battery, but rather she conspired with Akihiro Ehara to fake a murder alibi. <clears throat> We've already closed the book on that ordeal, yet now the defense wants to write a sequel? Write <laughs> a sequel. Takano. To establish the defendant's motive in the harassment, we need to bring the Mikoshiba murder to light. The groping itself was staged. It was all part of their script, right down to the guilty verdict. It sounds like the defendant has some strong hostility for the court. Ihara got the court to accept his murder alibi by twisting the legal process to his own ends. It was easy to miss, because at the time, Mikoshiba's body hadn't been found yet. But we have to admit, we all got duped. We? You're not even a lawyer. You're a detective. Yagami-sensei still has a license to practice. Forget what I said if it offended you, prosecutor. My superiors always told me that in his youth, your Genda-sensei was a difficult man. He'd insist his clients were innocent, persisting even in the face of conviction. He was hostile to the prosecution, and was known to fraternize with Kamurocho Yakuza. But it was his sheer disrespect that made my boss hate him. Damn. You sure know an awful lot about Genda-sensei. Because I honestly can't say I like him. He treated me like a child when I was starting out. I'll tell you this. There's no higher praise for the defense than being called difficult by the prosecution. Hmm. Kendra since he was worried about Sari-san's career, but I guess he fought the prosecution just as hard back in the day. Huh. I guess Sari-san picked up some of that attorney spirit from Kendra himself. Now, if we can get back on track... Can we confirm the defendant himself has agreed to the appeal? Yes. But if Ehara really committed the murder, why would he agree to his alibi being scrutinized? Ehara's objective isn't to get away with murder. Then what is he after? Making a mockery of the legal system. Hmm. Then it'd be best not to pay him any attention. And you'd be right. If your priority is saving face in front of the court rather than preserving fairness in the law. You've got a real attitude. I'm sorry I'm a bit late. Is that Bindo? Yep. So, with this appeal, the defense wants to assert the defendant's innocence by establishing his guilt in a murder. Wait, before we go on, who is this? He's from the Metropolitan Police. Considering Ehara was on the force, he has a vested interest here. He's not here to participate, don't worry. The police can't afford to be embarrassed any further. We need to send the right message to the public. Can we have your name, please? The name is Bondo. Bando. And your title? Think of me as a kind of police coordinator. <laughs> but don't let me interrupt the proceedings. Forget I'm even here. Please, continue. He gave me Bando. So much for this meeting being off the record. Allow me to restate the prosecution's opinion to the judge. We cannot allow the murder footage to be used as new evidence in Akihiro Ehara's appeal. It's nothing but an online hoax of unknown origin. You can't just casually introduce that into court. Indeed. Furthermore, if Ehara bears such hostility towards the court, the footage might end up being a trap. A trap? Yes. What if the next viral video proves the original footage was doctored? What if the proceedings have already begun by then? Do we drop the appeal and call it a day? We cannot allow a man like Ehara to swing the court around by its nose at his whims. With that in mind, I believe Ehara's conviction should be upheld and enforced. Would the defense care to comment? Did you think any of this through before filing this appeal? Yes. We aim to prove the defendant's innocence no matter what your objections may be. And what about you? Uh, do I think about Hara's appeal? How do I answer him?
We will prove Ahara is innocent of sexual battery. We have all the evidence we need. Huh. You mean the murder video? You're no better than the public. You believe everything you read online. Is there any real proof that the video isn't fake? Or are you trying to set a precedent for court sentences to hinge on dubious videos? True. The prosecution might have a point here, Yagami-san. What? 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 Man, this the is soccer footage wolves. may not have shown Ahara-san assaulting anyone, but that alone doesn't prove him innocent. Oh, right. <laughs> then, uh... What is this nonsense? I don't guess. <laughs> Ahara has to atone for Mika Shiba's murder. I can't look the other way while a killer evades his sentence. <laughs> Come now. Is that why you're appealing? If so, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yagami-san. I understand how you feel, but being innocent of sexual battery isn't guilt for Mikoshiba's murder. What? What? I'm tripping. We're only appealing the groping case here, so. Oh, right. <laughs> right, these choices. Then, uh... What is this nonsense? You're nonsense. Ahara's guilty verdict was wrong. We don't think there was enough evidence at the first trial to result in that verdict. There was fiber from the victim's underwear found on Ahara's hand. <laughs> that was a trick. I should say your face was set up. Your face is full of nonsense. <laughs> there is no evidence it was a trick. Are you saying Yui Mamiya and Ahara met beforehand? Is there proof of that? Was there perhaps any security footage we didn't see? No, the station erases the footage from their cameras after a few days if there's no need to keep it. Right. But if there's even a chance Ahara and Mamiya were a team, the underwear fiber proves nothing. Hmm. What were the other deciding factors? Security footage? The smartphone videos we kept seeing on TV? Those don't prove the crime either, because there was a huge time gap in them. What? We've done enough legwork to know. The security footage that supposedly proved Ahara's guilt. There was a big gap. What was it? Was it this one? Did you walk around the site with your own two feet, prosecutor? Uh. Well, no, but I have been to Shinjuku Station plenty of times. Then you must know they have a mountain of security cameras covering every angle. But if you went there to look carefully, you'd find there are some blind spots. That's a horror running, while Mamiya chases after her. It seems as though the whole chase is recorded, but this area in dotted lines is a blind spot no camera saw. That's the momentary gap in time where Ahara and his double switched places. The victim was running right behind Ahara. She would have noticed if they swapped places right in front of her eyes. Oh, but she knew about the swap all along. They were all in on it from the start. Can you prove that? We don't have to prove the defendant is innocent, Takano-san. What? All we have to prove is that the evidence provided by the prosecution at the trial was insufficient to determine guilt. Because that's the role of the defense counsel. Indeed it is. If the prosecution can't debunk any and all possibility that the train groping was a put-up job, then it's innocent until proven guilty. Then the defense should have brought it up the first time. Although I doubt Shirosaki-sensei actually believed in the defendant's innocence herself. The guilty verdict at the trial was orchestrated by the defendant. It was our error not to have seen it at the time, but it would be another not to correct ourselves now. Stop being so dramatic! He's just a subway perv! That is a statement I cannot abide. The law can't give the impression that a false charge is permissible, even for a subway perv. Right. I take that back. I misspoke. <laughs> I do believe this case is worth a trial in the appeal court. 
If the court was misled by a hostile defendant, then only the court can correct it. Thank you very much. However, I too have seen Ihara-san's murder footage. I believe it would be difficult to introduce it as evidence in this trial. Therefore, I cannot allow it to be brought into the courtroom at this time. We can't use murder footage to flip the guilty verdict. We can't even bring in the court. So what can we do? Let's get out of here. Sorry, son. Think you've got this covered? Huh? I'll poke my head in at the office later. Very well, we'll be expecting you. I met myself. Is it? From public security? I don't recall saying my department. <laughs> but yeah, that's right. Do you know Reiko Kusamoto, the vice minister at the Ministry of Health? Of course. Any particular reason she's under constant surveillance? <sighs> A rather bold question, isn't it? It's just you and me here. I see you know how to cut to the chase, Yagami Sensei. At this point, there's no there's no way a guy from public security can show up and not be related to Reiko Kusumoto. Nahara's trial can't be that important to you. So I have to figure I'm the reason you showed up. You want to know where Kawana is, don't you? Were you finally forced to get off your ass because nobody else can get eyes on him? Guana, otherwise known as Yu Kitikata, is wanted on suspicion of murder. If you know where he is, please do tell. Wanted for murder? Huh. Because you know, I thought it was RK acting on your orders that killed Sawa Sensei. You think you can hide that fact forever? Even the cops in the field have their suspicions. Do they? <laughs> well, the cubicle workers always resent the corner officers. Officers in the field complain about their superiors. I did the same thing back in my day. Then why did you use thugs as your pawns instead of officers? Is that how Sawa Sensei got roped into this? <sighs> I'm afraid I'm not following. No doubt about it. He's the one controlling RK. At the very least, he's one of the guys giving orders to someone. You knew it was going to be a dirty job from the beginning. That's why you couldn't use anybody on the force. Or maybe you just weren't able to find an underling you could fully trust. <laughs> That's a good one. Public security's only tricks are surveillance and call tracing. You leave the dirty work to the thugs. And that may be true. But it's enough to crush the likes of you. This bastard right here. I'm gonna ask just in case. Where is Soma now? <clears throat> Hand over Kawana to me and there will be no more victims. What? Nani? Do you have a reason to protect him? I already know he's going around executing bullies. He's a disturbance to public order. But he wasn't the one who killed Sawa-sensei. I didn't come here to argue. I came to issue an ultimatum. Get camera show. What's my next move? They're looking for Kawana. What should I do? And back to the yard. Oh, get in the law office. Let's use my skateboard. Lady got the way. Ah, uh, people. Is that a side case? 
Hmm? <coughs> oh. Now we don't have time for side cases. We'll do it later though. Oh god dang it. Oh shoot. Wrong way. There's no way in the other way to turn. Alright, we're here. Oh man. Every time. What y'all looking at? Y'all want some? Y'all want some Reeboks? You can get them down the street with Payless. Man, whoop ass. Let's go. Y'all wanna fight? Let's go! Square up! Oh, sweet. Nani? <laughs> he flew away. Really, guys? Oh, they're looking too. What the y'all looking at? <laughs> nope. Here we go. Oh! 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 Oh my god. That man literally got ran over. Someone clipped that part. Disappeared. Damn it. That was funny. That thing got ran over. <laughs> I was like, oh! Ho, ho. What's up, Hoshino san? Ginda san? Hey, how is Prosecutor Takano? I've heard he's still miffed about how I treated him back in the day. Uh, I hope Saurikun doesn't have a hard time because of that. Saurikun. yagami -san, was everything okay back there? That man, Bondo, I knew something was off about him. Is he one of the men behind RK? Yeah, yeah you can clip on YouTube. He was trying to find out where Kawana There should was. be a clip feature. I see. That reminds me. Hoshino-kun seems to have heard some rumors about RK. That was funny. I was like, oh! <laughs> Maybe I ran over in the process. Hi, Hoshino-kun. Hoshino-kun. 
Did you pick up what the word is on RK? Yeah. One of the bosses, Akutsu, came back to Kamurocho yesterday. I like Gary He's Stewart back. from House of the Dead, He's too. number two in the group, isn't he? Yeah. So he would probably know about Soma. Know where he is? Ooh, there he is. Well, I'm not sure if you're aware, Yagami-san, but RK owns some of the cabaret clubs in Kamurocho. And Akutsu manages them. If a girl makes a lot of sales, or if she becomes a rising star in the club, Akutsu apparently gives that girl a bonus. Personally. How do you know this stuff, Hoshino-kun? <laughs> Our clients come from all walks of life at Kamurocho, cabaret girls included. So to sum it all up, a popular girl has a chance to meet Akutsu? Yeah, but this week nobody was getting that chance. Until yesterday. Which is how I figured out Akutsu is back in Kamurocho. He must have been in Yokohama. Oh, wow. That makes sense. But where exactly in Kamurocho is he? That's the part I don't know. RK bosses never sleep in the same place twice. Gotta keep the cops off their trail. But despite the risk, Akutsu still reaches out to popular girls. Hey, I'm not even mad. In fact, uh -oh. I'm up for the challenge. We gotta play as her again. Awesome, Sarisan. If you can rock the cabaret gig again, you can hook Akutsu. It'd be an undercover mission to infiltrate RK. Super risky. But damn, if I don't want to see Sarisan transform one more time, I can't help it. <laughs> what the hell's gotten into uh, you? Thirsty. Are there any bars we know for sure that RK owns? There is. You remember Queen Rouge, the place Saori-san snuck into a long time ago? RK recently took over the management there. Queen Rouge. Right, I'll make her a little different. What about the owner? Still the same guy? Yep, he's still there. One of the original employees. Only thing is, it used to be a classy spot, but they've cut a lot of corners. The vibe has probably changed a lot. Really? Well, maybe that means I can afford to go. Hey, totally. What? I want to go too. In the coming too? This is no time to be idiots. <laughs> okay, well, sorry, son. You'll need the whole makeover again. I can take point on that. No need. I'll be fine. Huh? Just the other day, Mari-san and I figured out what kind of makeup goes over well with RK. I'll just go with that. With Mari? Well, counterpoint, I think a man might know better what men like. With all due respect, don't judge what you haven't seen. Oh, uh, uh, really? <laughs> uh oh, am I about to step in the landmine? <laughs> I should just leave it up to them. All right. So, question: What what should I do? Should should I should I keep the Kate Green House of the Dead four look, or should I redo her makeup and make her look like another sacred character? What do you guys think? Choose your destiny. Okay. I still think I should pick your makeup. Seriously, Mari-san and I put in a lot of effort. Are you really going to make me start over from scratch? Yes, I am. Agami-san, quit it! You're making Saori-san angry. Are you insane? This isn't a kid's game. It doesn't matter who does it, as long as it gets results. Our makeup <laughs> exactly has what I was thinking. results already. Ah, she's not letting me do it. I'm sorry, but can I just take a quick look? Maybe I can make a few touches here and there. We're dealing with RK, and they're backed by public security. We can't mess around here. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I'm Yagami-san. I can't believe you're fighting Saori-san on this. You're insane. You have a good point, Yagami. <laughs> and evidently no fear. Very well. I can see you mean business, so I'll concede.
succeed this time. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Then let's get to it. I'm trusting you to get it right, Yagami-san. Oh yeah, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Let me let's, let's change your hair a little bit. Let's see. Blaze Fielding, nope. Nope. I think this is kind of close enough. No, 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 no. Shit. <laughs> oh, God. No. Nah. This is it, yep. And we know she has brown hair. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Yep, yep, yep. Now, question, does Blaze have brown eyes? I think she has brown eyes. Oh, <laughs> yes, this is it. There we go. <laughs> have a necklace. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> Bracelet. There we go. Keep the perfume. Brown or blue? Uh, I think... I think it's brown. change her uh her lips are definitely red <laughs> I can't oh my god oh my god <laughs> uh, let's see oh yeah we gotta change her eyebrows I'm gonna find a color to it forgetting I think the nails are fine eyeshadow there we go okay now we got our blaze filled in y'all <laughs> oh yo yo I'm saving this saving this yeah, we got our blaze filming. <laughs> the Roshi laughs. I do that all the time. Oh my god. So I'm gonna get a good angle so I can take another screenshot. This is going on Twitter. Here we go. Yeah, I got. <laughs> Okay, one more, one more. There we go. Done. I think we're done here, fellas. Yes. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I had her as like Kate Green from her Scarlet Dawn outfit. And then now we got Blaze Fielding. <laughs> Alright, there's still a little more time until the makeup is done. I should get ready to deal with any issues. 
make preparations. Am I totally ready? I'm all ready. I can't believe we're doing this. Ooh, get the <laughs> Yo Yo Let's See How about that Well I can't say it didn't annoy me <laughs> I admit it's for the best that you stepped in. Thanks, Yakami san. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. What's important is that you look great. Oh, well then, I gotta show this to my friend. Oh, while you were doing your makeup, I talked to the owner <laughs> about you coming in. The like Koshino kun said, there's apparently a system in place where a girl with great sales potential gets the attention of Akutsu. I understand. Basically, I just have to aim to be number one at the bar, right? How confident are you? Look at that, look at the view! I can't make any guarantees. Place building, y'all. And I'm with you all the way, lady. <laughs> Yo. Okay. All right, I'm gonna save this clip too. This is going on uh, Twitter. All right, let's go. Streets of rage. <laughs> Streets of rage. All right, where's my destination? Here we go. Doom, doom. Oh, this. Fighting in the street. Oh my god, she looks just like Blaze Fielding. Holy shit. Streets of Rage. <laughs> We're going around the corner over there. I pass by this place sometimes, but it's been a while since I've been inside. The owner remembered you from last time. Said he wished you were there every night instead of just one. The undercover cabaret girl of his dreams returns. Oh, take this before you go. It's a wireless earpiece. If you end up going somewhere with Akatsu, we can use it to communicate. Oh, I mean... I'll be there in a flash if things go even remotely south. Got it. I know you have my back, Yagami-san. <laughs> you bet. Good luck then. Oh man. Alright. Ah! Oh! Sorry, son! Ah, oh, you. this dude again! Yeah. Looking at you takes me back to better days. You are a cut above. A sight for sore eyes. Nice to see you again. Have you been well? I'm fine. I'm fine! Well, that's a lie. Last time you were here, we were a good place. But times have only gotten tougher. Now, we're just a fast and cheap dive bar with mediocre service. Yes, I heard a bit about that. Keep this on the down low, but uh, the former owner lost a bet in Mahjong. So we sold the bar. We're under RK's management now. Ever since they took over, we're just like every other CD place. We don't even make a profit unless we're shuffling people in and out, which of course impacts the girls' performance. But I hear the girls with promise catch the eye of the RK members. Haha! <laughs> so you already know about that. Yes, RK treats people well who treat their bottom line well. If they notice a special girl, they'll give her a bonus to show their generosity. Or maybe Akutsu-san just wants to drink with cute girls. Alright, my true goal is to find out the location of Arcade's underboss Akutsu. 
becoming the number one girl in the bar is just incidental. Uh, this is just, <coughs> I said just, this isn't about having a good time. I may be dressed up, but I'm still working a job here. Where do girls usually meet up with Akutsu-san? No particular location. Just depends on his mood, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha! But you have your eye on that bonus, I see. Well, if anyone could get it, it's you, Sari-san. I'm rooting for you. Can you hear me, Sari-san? Yes. So you got in okay. Just so you know, I think I'm gonna call for support. Support? Yeah, so Dang in case man. you meet Akatsu, we'll be ready to pounce on him. But you'll be on your own until then. Sorry, now I'm number one at this bar. First rule of customer service is to help. There's a heat praise on the guests. I can do this, sorry. Oh, you can do this, sorry. Even if you're my own father sitting there, I must praise him until he becomes putty in my hands. Oh my god. So, are you the new girl the manager brought in? Oh, hell no. You are <laughs> kind of older than I thought you'd be. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm sorry. We're gonna take it nice to the streets. Hmm. What club were you at oh before God. this? Oh, I'm usually an office worker, but I worked here once about two years ago. What, so you just come back whenever you feel like it? Like some part-time gig? Really? You treat this job like it's a cakewalk and expect us not to be offended? Oh, uh, point taken. So... I guess tonight I should sit back and watch the professionals show me how it's done. What? Are you dissing us? What? You can haze new girls, but if they give it back, you lose your cool. Excuse me? Oh. Now, now. You can't scowl like that when customers are here to have a good time. Oh, you little... <laughs> wow. I thought you were just another snob, but you've got barbed wire where it counts. Magu! You're gonna let a new chick talk to us this way? Old or new doesn't matter. If you've got the goods, I have no complaints. I'm going to do my best, and I'll try not to weigh you two down. Taori-san, Megu-san, Kuriko-san, we have customers! Let's get to work! Well... Time for the new girl to show us what people see in her. <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to it. Ooh, the class of the female's ego. Oh man, I think I might actually enjoy this. Uh oh, chaos. I'm Kuniko. Hello, I'm Blaze Fielding from Streets of Rage 4. I'm sorry. Nice to meet Oh, I see. Streets sorry, of Rage. John. My bad. Uh, come, oh, no. Come sit here. Wow, you're beautiful. Oh, the best of the bunch. Man, I am loving this place. Uh, um, so, how are you? How is this happening? Is this what Yagami-san meant by support? Oh. Oh man, here we go, y'all. This won't help me in, in the least. In fact, it's doing the opposite. This is harder than I thought. Oh man. <laughs> but, you know... I could make any prosecutor shake in his boots just by yelling, OBJECTION! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, you killer lawyer, you. <laughs> Jeez, why is Genda Sensei getting all the attention? For your information, I passed the national bar exam with top marks. Uh-huh. Oh, what's a bar exam? Oh, you've got to be kidding. You ladies have really never heard of the bar exam? It's the toughest certification test in Japan. This man drunk. I've heard of it. Oh, so it's a certificate? Well, I passed kanji level three when I was in middle school. That's not even comparable. Kanji aptitude is a very fine certification. Huh? 
You passed your stupid bar exam how many years ago now? And you're still bragging about your scores? Seriously? What? Um, I, uh... Uh, sorry, John. You can't talk that way to a customer. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, but Hoshino was being such an ass, I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, well, she's right. It's a dumb thing to brag about, isn't it? But the bar is really hard. Not everyone passes it. There's so much studying to do day and night. Oh my god, he's crying. <laughs> I have to do something to cheer him up. Uh, even though I don't want to compliment him, I must. Well, well, no matter how long ago it was, it's <laughs> it's still an amazing accomplishment. Your glories of the past are worth bragging about. I mean, it's the national bar exam. Glories of the past? Did you have to put it like that? Is this bar exam thing really that big of a deal? Yeah. You know what? My cousin said he tried three times and still failed. And he graduated from Toto University. A Toto University grad couldn't pass it? Then it is a pretty amazing accomplishment. <laughs> That's true. It really is hard. <laughs> of course, I myself passed it easy peasy back in the day. Okay, now maybe things are turning out okay. It's incredible, isn't it? That's why lawyers deserve our respect. Don't you agree? I do, I do. And lawyers make a lot of money, right? Girls must be all over you wherever you go. Uh, well, no. <laughs> Not really. Not oh, really. <laughs> he's blushing. This is great, Candace, I'd say. Let's get some more drinks. <laughs> you got it. More drinks it is. How about you girls? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm glad I got to that. But I wish they would go home already. <laughs> this is getting juicy, guys. Listen up, girls. This is a heck of a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm having a great time. You sure are, Gendison. I love Cabaret Club. So much. <laughs> Me too, Gendisensei. Especially this one. The customer service is on point. I wish I could come here every night. And stay <laughs> till morning. <laughs> oh, you two know just how to flatter us. So true. Hey, in case you come back, would you like to reserve a bottle in your name? You guys are lawyers, so I'm sure you can afford it. <laughs> well, we're not a big firm. But you know what? <laughs> Let's do it. Nice one, boss. You're the best. Shall I let him do this? If they keep drinking like fish, Genda's Law is going to go bankrupt. But I have to be seen as someone who brings a lot of sales, or else I won't get to meet Akusu. Uh oh. <coughs> What's wrong, sorry son? You're looking kind of gloomy there. <laughs> Come on, how about a smile? Ah, Saurikun. I was thinking if you could be just a bit friendlier, you'd be the belle of the ball. <laughs> um. Do you guys already know, Sauri san You act like you're good friends. Hmm. They do seem pretty close, right? Uh oh. This isn't good. If, if they find out we know each other, that will be supremely awkward for me. Not to mention, it would completely ruin my plan to get me to with RK. Huh? I don't know. But the man would it drunk. be so he is wrong wasted. if we did know each other? Of course not, but this does happen to be our first meeting. <laughs> Silly sensei. Is it the first time? Is it really, though? <laughs> <laughs> You're both teasing me so much. <laughs> or Megu san and Kuniko san are giving me dirty looks. Well, I mean, that's because something does seem fishy. This is bad. I guess I need to change gears here.
<laughs> They're suspicious of us, Hoshino Sensei. Uh, um, what, uh, oh wow! Oh. Sorry, son. Oh my. But I just can't seem to control myself. <laughs> oh, am I being too naughty? What the hell? Hoshino kun. This this is inappropriate. Stop this. Now, both of you. Oh, uh, excuse me? Uh, can we get that girl at this table too? Yes, sir. You mean Saori san. Oh, Correct? oh! Me too! Wait a minute, what about us? Oh my! <laughs> please, please, everyone! She's only one person! <laughs> I guess the new girl's a hit. <laughs> oh, she sure that was hilarious. Us. This is crazy. <laughs> Phew, I guess that went well. Now I just wait till Akasu to summon me. Mission complete. You're not Agent G just yet. That was funny. We can see defeat. Sorry, son. I'm so <laughs> sorry we were rude before. Oh, please. I just got lucky tonight. Yeah, right. I don't think I could have done better than you in any department. You're a natural at conversation, and so sexy, too. I learned a lot, actually. And whoo, I drink a lot more than usual. Thanks for the hard work, you three. I bet you barely got any breaks. It was one customer after another. What a night. We haven't had this good a take in a while. It's all thanks to saori -san. No. I couldn't have done it without Megu-san and Kuniko-san at my side. Come on, it was pretty obvious who the MVP was this evening. Boss, seeing as you're here, does that mean sorry sons getting a bonus? That she is. Oh my god. Who thought this could happen on her first day? All I can say is, wow. Akutsu-san wants to meet you and show his appreciation by giving you the bonus himself. There's already a taxi waiting outside. Oh, is that really? true? That is so awesome. No kidding. So the bonus thing is real, huh? I hope I get one someday. Total success. Now, I'll find where Akusu is hiding. So, where exactly is Akutsu san waiting for me? Apparently, it's a surprise. He doesn't just let that information out. But I'm sure it's somewhere in Kamurachu. Don't worry. I'm told there'll be another cab to take you home. I see. Well then, I'm looking forward to it. Club Sega, everyone. Don't worry, sorry, son. I'm standing by. If you need me, I'll be there in a flash. Driver? Could you tell me where we're headed? Oh, <laughs> we're almost there, miss. We're not leaving Kamrocho, are we? No, no. No need to worry. I think he's driving to the Thug Hangout, the underground club. That's where I met Soma for the first time. I thought it had been shut down. But maybe they opened it back up. <coughs> we'll be arriving soon. Sorry, son, I presume. We've been expecting you. You are very beautiful. Akutsu-san will be happy. Thank you for inviting me. RK takes care of people who keep the cash flowing. The fact you're here means you have a talent for it. You're one of us now, sorry san So this is RK keeps recording new members and allies. They keep hostesses who make money by giving them a fat bonus and some pretty boys if you would follow me certainly <laughs> oh shoot streets of rage the disco stage from streets of rage 3 do, 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 do. Yep. <laughs> here she is Akutsu-san tonight's heroine Saori-san from Queen Rouge ah <laughs> and I see why 
You're hotter than your reputation. Come here. Let me give you some motivation to keep at it. I've heard so much about you, Akutsu-san. It's a pleasure to meet someone so famous. Have a seat. I'm not gonna ask you to pour after a hard night's work. This sake is not cheap. That's cool though, right? <laughs> Gotta show my appreciation, don't I? Oh, there's no need for that. Well, on to the moment of truth. Your bonus. One million yen. Quite a stack of cash for an office worker. Yeah. It's a big pile of money for anyone. Oh, even for lawyers? Shirosaki Sensei? I'm oh, not what? sure I follow. Uh oh. This lady lawyer came poking around before. Except she was trying to find out about Kawhi at the time. You see, when it comes to Kamurocho, we have eyes everywhere. Anybody suspicious gets reported to us fast. Most of the eyes working for me or Soma are spies in the police force. And now, we've got a law lady in the bag. <gasps> so, what do you want with me? Who sent you here, huh? Well, this took a turn for the worse, didn't it? You're only just noticing that. Kinda slow for a lawyer, aren't you? Oh, I didn't mean for me. It just got worse. For you. Oh, me and the boys. What the? Oh, man. We got hit guys here. You were harder to find than I thought, Akatsu. Wow. So it was you pulling sorry, John Strings. Hell of a sight. Some piece of shit ex Tojo man thinks he's king of the hill now. Don't make me laugh. You're the worthless pile of shit, Higashi. Props for having the spine to show up here without backup. And after you barely escaped with your life, Yagami. Hold that thought. Because this isn't the whole party. Huh? Oh, we got some more goons. The only squad. guy I really want to fuck up is so much. Kaito! He's sent from the hospital! Uh, settle for you, losers, tonight. <laughs> yeah, boy! Kaito. Couldn't just yeah. stay ahead, huh? Nice work, Sari san. Streets of rage. We'll take it from here, but did you ring the gong for us? What? Nothing kicks off a fight better than a beauty ring and a gong. Yeah. Give us something to get the mood going. Okay. Well then. Gentlemen, do your worst. <laughs> you ready? Go. Yeah, boy! Yo. I like that. I like that. That was smooth. That was freaking smooth! Oh my god. Damn, all those stairs? Ooh, penny loafer kick. Let's go. Three box to the chest. Damn. Ooh, double face crusher. All right, he's mad now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta clip that moment because that's <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's go. Oh shit! Oh, giant swing! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Yo, this man, this man, I'm just tripping. <laughs> okay. I see you, fam. All right. Hey, 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 chill out with the stabbing. No stabby, stabby. All right. Let's go, boys. Oh, shit. Come here, my dude. What's happening? I need to focus on the goons. I got you. Come 
Come on, man, stay still. Oh no. Too many of these fools. Let me get drunk on those fools real quick. Oh, I don't have any. Damn. Fuck it. Damn, you gotta die. What? Get down. Shit, I messed up. Flash kick. Shit! Ah. That giant swing is mean. I think I should be good with the health now. Or not. Alright, uh. What does I need to upgrade? Nah, I haven't unlocked that yet. Hmm. Dang, so many skills I need to unlock. The giant swing. Grab his ass. Oh shit! God damn! I need to hold this fool. See you, Kaito. Go 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 go! Give me that neck. Just yet. Takes my rebox. Alright, I gotta get some health bad, man. I'm losing health super hard. This game is a lot tougher than the first game. I need to hold him off. 
Fuck no. Oh, oh god, German suplex. Man, y'all need to kick his ass. Help me. Talk to my take on the side. Chick show. No, no, no. No, no. No, mommy, help me. Oh, no, stop. <laughs> this man is killing me, man. You guys are just gonna sit there and watch him kick my ass. You know what? I got some for him. Somersault kick! Go to sleep. Give me your shoes, too. <laughs> and go to jail. <laughs> you can't run anymore, Akatsu. Man, it's just a rage. Can we man. talk now? <laughs> Where's Soma? Where's he hiding? I don't know. He moves around more than I do. Really? He really just another one of his pawns? Just gonna cover for him and obey his every word? <sighs> Soma can tell when someone's lying. He's always been able to. I won't be able to get away with bullshitting him. Friend or foe, if he finds a traitor, he stomps the rat dead. He can sniff out the faintest scent of betrayal. That's why I've always told him the truth. No point trying to BS him. In this business, Nothing beats the ability to detect liars. You serious right now? You're buying into some bullshit rumors, dumbass. You just don't fucking get it, man. He can practically see the future. He was the first to bail from the Tojo clan. Usually, you need a shit ton of money to leave a clan if you don't want to be killed. That's what it's like to be a Yakuza. Huh. Remember who you're talking to, asshole. Soma. He somehow knew there was no future for the Tojo, so he jumped ship. No money, and not even a word to the bosses. Just up and left. There's no way you can get away with that. That's what I thought. I said the same thing to him when he was leaving. I warned him. They'll fucking erase you. The bastard just laughed. He said the clan was finished. No way could they kill him. Then he had the boss to give me advice. He said I should get out too and not worry about it. What did he mean by that? By that point, the Tojo clan didn't have the resources to properly deal with the vectors. Soma understood that. And sure enough, he left without a word and nobody ever tried to fuck with him. It's true. Soma was the first guy to slip out. No doubt the dude knew what was up. While the Tojo clan was limping to its grave, Soma went underground and built the arcade network all by himself. And that's how you became his errand boy. What do you expect? I can't control Soma. I'm just the public face of RK. He holds the reins. I've been cool with that ever since I joined. <laughs> At least you're enough of a man to admit what you are. Hmm. Pathetic. Akatsu, Soma's being used by public security. Did you know that? Public security. Why was Soma looking for Shinya Kawai and Kamurocho? I don't He's know. All I heard was somebody hired him to do that. Why is he after Kawana? I... Uh... How are Soma and public security linked? Like, give me something. Doesn't it at least ring a bell? I don't know, man. The fuck you mean ring a bell? I don't know shit. <laughs> Wait. Nah. But maybe... Maybe who? What is it? Doc. Is it possible that Soma himself is public security? Soma working in public security? What do you mean? Well, public security trains people to become spies. So they can infiltrate and collect intel. Right wing, left wing, anti-establishment citizens groups. You get the picture. They usually try to find a weak spot in the org. Someone they can turn to their side. True, public security is an intelligence agency that uses spies all the time. Why is someone part of that? So yeah, that's one way to do it. But sometimes a cop who's already in public security goes undercover to infiltrate something like a Yakuza organization. 
What you get is a Yakuza who knows everything about the police, and would be super good at sniffing out liars. You're saying Soma is actually an undercover agent? You heard what this fool said. Soma figured out the Tojo clan didn't have a future, so he ditched them. You think some street punks got that kind of foresight? He couldn't, unless he had intel from the law. That'd be a different beast. He'd have to know the Tojo clan and Kamurocho like the back of his hand. Including knowing that the Tojo clan would dissolve soon. Yep. And then after he gets out, what does he do next? He makes a place for all the Yakuza coming out of the Tojo clan to find each other, right? Where public security can easily monitor them. That's why RK is still coming to ex-Tojo clan Yakuza like me. In other words, <laughs> RK was founded by public security Man, that to was manage a all fight. the displaced Yakuza? Sure as hell sounds like their M.O. No matter how many crime rings they bring down, another always pops up in its place. This way, public security doesn't have to start from scratch. They can just keep tabs on all the free agents. But it's mind-blowing that they'd install their own leader. Sure as hell sounds like collusion to me. Soma? An undercover public security agent? Shit. We gotta move. Cut the fucking chit chat. Why? What? He's gonna be fucking listening in on us right now. If he's public security and heard all that. Get your shit together, Akatsu. What does it matter? Don't you get it? There's no way he'd want anyone else to fucking know! Oh! Uh. That man got busted on. Dang. R.I.P. my dude. And he gone from this earth. No suicide moment for him. Oh, he, he found us. He sleep. Game over. He won't be in uh, Blood Judgment 3 anymore. Alright. We're on Chapter 12. To nourish a viper. You know, like fighting vipers. <laughs> That's one of my favorite games. To return justice to the courtroom, Yagami makes a series of bold moves. However, Bondo, the man behind public security, makes a power play of his own, and the murderous Soma is still at large. Soma is believed to be a plant from public security, but that knowledge comes at a fatal price. So the two shooters were dressed as policemen? Yes, they're the ones who shot Akatsu. Oh, she all covered. They couldn't have been real officers though, right? Yeah. I'm guessing Soma gave uniforms to two of his own guys. Regardless of their affiliation, they were there on Soma's orders. Kaido-san's theory is that he's actually a public security agent. Get this talk. In America, they call people who go undercover, moles. <laughs> moles, huh? Moles. If this really was public security, I can't familiar. believe they'd go so far as murder. Uh, Soma probably thinks he's backed into a corner. Word got out he's been a plant since his Tojo days. Not even being the head honcho. Yeah, I'm sorry, he shook. He'd be nothing but a rat. And RK's got plenty of ex-Tojo in it who'd want his head for that. You said it's I hadn't Bloom. considered that. 
those fake cops tried to take us out, too. They'll silence anyone who gets in the way. Hey, you think your office could post some officers' agendas? At least for tonight. Sure, I can get that arranged. Shouldn't you guys have protection, too, though? I appreciate the concern. But Kaito-san and Higashi are ex-Yakuza. Not exactly a good mix, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Not happening. You said it. Thanks, but no thanks. Soma's probably gonna head even deeper underground after all this. But if we can track him down, we'll get the dirt on public security we need. Then we can do right by Sawa-sensei, and even bring Kawana and Reiko Kusumoto to justice. All right, we get it. Let's walk saori son back to her office first, though. We'll save the rest for tomorrow. Good idea. Don't worry, saori son You should be safe from here on. Ugh, what gives, Sauri? You change up your look and the guys line up to protect you? <laughs> Maybe you should put some effort into it once in a while yourself. <laughs> Are you telling me this isn't effort? <laughs> Alright. Let's talk Sauri some back to get in his law office. We can continue conversation there. Alright, gang. Time for some Streets of Rage. Let's go. Yeah, we're leaving. Let's go. Unless you want to go to the arcade and chill. I'm not taking you out, you know? Let me stop. Hey, you know what? Forget this. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Aw, oh, dang it. What up, yo? What the who? Who busting caps? I need to get you, my friend. That was right timing too. Let the crowd go. <laughs> okay, that was extra. That was extra. <laughs> oh no. Who the fuck? Stay in that form. And stay down. Alright, let's go back. That was funny. Okay. Let's go. night you all right when i heard akatsu was shot i just froze all i could think was what if something happened to salary son couldn't spare a thought for us well we're glad everyone's safe yeah but soma got the jump on us he's a bigger threat than we thought what do you mean by that well you think he's working undercover for public security undercover it's a new development I'm sure it puts a damper on Genda-sensei and Hoshino-kun's big night out. Huh? Well, uh... I only showed up because Hoshino-kun talked me into it. <laughs> you said you wanted to see what it was like in there, too! Did I really? Hmm. I don't recall that. Incredible. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go change. No, oh, don't change. Put it lightly. Looks like you guys are in for the cold shoulder for a while. Sad times. Interesting. If what you say is true, a public security agent is scooping up thugs into RK. Yeah, and his name's Kazuki Soma. 
We haven't confirmed it yet. But if he really is an undercover agent, then everything starts to make sense. Public security gets to use RK as their pawns, who feed them intel from the streets. All those scumbags are just working for public security without even knowing it. But that setup is exactly what let Soma and RK grow so successful in the first place. For example, I'm sure the guys who killed Akatsu are RK, <coughs> but they were definitely decked out in real police gear. Soma's role in public security would make getting that gear easy. If that's true, we can't trust anyone in uniform now. Should we be concerned about the police downstairs? Don't worry. They're here thanks to Mafia. All things considered, can't the police do anything about Soma? Well, according to public security, there's no one by that name on record. So that's a dead end. They must have wiped him from their files already. Soma had to have been in the Tojo clan for ten years minimum. He and Akutsu were both in the Nikyo Consortium. Higashi knows more about that stuff than me, though. Okay, we'll ask him about it tomorrow then. Hmm, sounds good. I guess that's it for tonight. Let's head up back to the agency and rest up. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. We're almost done. Oh, I can't ride my skateboard because... Oh wait, I can. No! Ah, oh, my hand. Don't stop my group. Points of four? Oh god. Y'all people need to move. I'm trying to do some tricks here. Let's go. There we go. <clears throat> now it's time to rest up. Yes, and there's a master system on the side. <clears throat> mm. oh. Let's head back to Charles. It's time to ask Higashi about Soma's Tojo clan days. Uh, yeah. Are we going to see some more cameos? Let's find out. Where's Charlie? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. To the windows, to the wall. Whoa. No. 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 Ah, lady, move. Calling me. Mush, mush. Hello? Yagamishi, this is Tsukumo. We have a problem. The Yokohama Liomong were attacked this morning. What? Attacked by who? RK. 
They've been boosting their numbers in a gene show. They're probably hunting Kawana. Fortunately, he seems to have escaped them. But he's gone completely off the grid again. How bad was it for the Luma? Several are wounded, according to Tesosan. Did any of them see Soma during the attack? I haven't heard for certain. All I know is that it was total chaos. Mm. I see. Okay. What's the plan, Yagamishi? I'm gonna dig into Soma's past. I feel like there's something there. Could you keep trying, Kawana? Your wish is my command. See you. Let's go and talk to my homie Higashi. Good man. Uh, what's up, Doc? Sorry, folks. My shift started. One of you take over. Oh, I'll do it, Kaito. Hmm. Great. Don't forget to block. Got it. I won't. You must be playing Street Fighter. Oh man, you're a rock star to these kids. <laughs> Crazy, right? You should see Higashi with them, though. Really? Higashi-san, Yagami Sensei is here for you. Lose that Sensei shit, you idiot. Oh my God. No honorifics for assholes. Uh, in that case, that Yagami asshole is here for you. Oh my god, MCU. Talk about its emotion. <laughs> right. Well, I do know a thing or two about Soma's Tojo clan days. He swore under the Nikio Consortium, direct family. The Nikio Consortium was a pretty big deal. Even if they did bite the dust with the main family. Right. Among them, Soma and Akutsu were both looking like officer candidates. Apparently, the Nikio's role in the family was to handle off-the-record dirty work. No matter how much they raked in, the higher-ups took their cut and left the mess. Those two got hung out to dry, basically. Nevertheless, they sucked it up and hoped they'd be the ones on top someday. But, as you know, the Tojo clan got hit hard, disbanding before they ever even got their shot. They devoted years to the family, all to get nothing in return. I'd be willing to buy that for Akutsu. But if Kaito-san is right, Soma was working the Tojo clan from the inside for public security. That's how he knew sooner than anyone else that the Tojo was on the way out. Being undercover, he could see the writing on the wall and plan accordingly. That's why he founded the criminal network RK so he could gather up and monitor all the ex-Yakuza at once. Okay, now that you mention it, RK has been dipping into the shady side of Kamurocho. They're strong-arming anyone who acts without their blessing first. You want to do shady shit? You need an RK permit these days. Yeah, that's why the Somas and Undercover Agent theory makes sense to me. If we find a concrete link between him and public security, then we'll know for sure. Evidence of someone being an undercover agent within the Yakuza. We'll have to dig into this past for that. Higashi, <clears throat> who might have known Soma back then? Someone with authority would know how he joined the Tojo clan. Well, let's see. Would the Nikio president work? Daigo. President? Not patriarch? Same shit. His name's Irie. But whatever kind of boss he was then, now he's just another champion district drunk. I have some questions for him. Once I have the link between Soma and public security, it'll all fall into place. I don't know, man. You want to meet him, knock yourself out. He spends his days at a joint called Earth Angel. Gotcha. I'll come with you, Doc. Excuse <laughs> me. Let's go, Kaito san. What is it? Let's get down to business to defeat the Hans. I told you okay. <laughs> he just jumped. Did you mean? 
keep up, my dude. So are you ditching me? Here we are. The former head of the Nikos local haunt. He just gets plastered here all day? <laughs> Damn, the lucky son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Let's go in here. To Earth Angel. The same person. President Irie. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, my name is Kaito. I used to be in the Matsugane family. Matsugane? Ah, oh, one of his boys, huh? You knew my boss? He was your classic old school Yakuza. He had duty, dignity, but he couldn't earn. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he was the lucky one, dying before he became whatever I am now. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? This is my partner, Yagami. He's a civvy, but he was like family to the boss. It's a pleasure. You're just... So, what do you want to ask? Could you tell us about Kazuki Soma? You might know him as head of RK now. Huh. <laughs> Soma, huh? Joined the family when he was just a little sprat. Here he's quite the big shot now. I hope meeting with this guy pays off, but no matter who's talking, it's detective's job to listen to everything they say. Let me buy you a drink. <clears throat> Mind if I join you here? Our lieutenant scouted out Soma back in the day. He'd heard some kid was flushing his money away in one of our casinos. Turned out the kid was sweet-talking ladies into handing him their money. Yeah. Sounds like a model Yakuza candidate. You mean Kamrocho's old underground casino? Yeah, that was one of ours. <laughs> yeah, the cops would keep shutting him down and we'd keep building more. What made you ask Soma to join the family? Was he the one who initially approached you? I think so. He was pretty attached to that lieutenant I mentioned before. So I had no problem following orders. But he had a natural authority to him, too. Makes for a damn good Yakuza. Of course, a violent streak is the other half of the equation. Say, before he joined up, how much digging did you really do on Soma? What's that supposed to mean? You checked his background and everything, right? Well, I'm sure we did our homework. It's not like that was my responsibility. irie son, there's a chance Soma was working for public security the whole time. What did you say? So no one suspected him. Soma warm Soma warmed in his way into the family after all. Considering he may have been undercover Whew. from the start, does anything strike you as strange now? Almost Maybe some suspicious tired. behavior, or contacts with people you didn't know. No, I have no idea. The thought never even crossed my mind. He took some really risky gigs. You didn't hear this from me, but he even took at least one hit job. A hit job? Hit job. Some time back, you know, there was this punk who ratted us out to the cops. And the higher-ups ordered Soma to kidnap the guy bury him in the mountains. He handled it so well, people were kind of creeped out. Like, it wasn't his first time. At least, I remember Akutsu telling me that. I already got killed last night. Word travels fast. Who'd you hear it from? <laughs> oh, darkness runs deep in this city. Never assume you're the only ones in the know. Akutsu just realized last night that Soma is an undercover public security agent. That's why he was silenced. Sure, but what's it matter? At this point, I don't give a shit if Soma's undercover. The family's dead and gone now. What happened to everyone else after you shut down the consortium? Half of them went legit. Some of them went and joined the sixth chairman for his new deal. I guess the rest crawled back underground. <clears throat> the Greener family boys all got invited to RK. 
So it's none of your concern that your former family is being manipulated by public security? Those guys don't even come to see me during bone season or New Year's. They're just spoiled brats now. An arrogant group of thugs. Family my ass. Drink up. I'm sure this guy was a big shot in his heyday. But it sure is a shame to see what happens to a Yakuza whose family fell apart. <sighs> All this talk's making my drink taste like shit. Hmm. I guess the young ones nowadays are pretty wrapped up in themselves. To be fair, though, I don't know anybody who'd want to waste their time with a gloomy drunk. How about we grab a bite together when you sober up? Because if this is really the fate of the Tojo clan's patriarchs, no way those of us who work to make it big are going to live it down. Sorry for that. Kaito-san's old life, becoming a direct family was their biggest dream. When he looks at you, he sees what Matsugane-san might have been if things had been different. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Hey, you know the Misawa building on North Senryo Avenue? It's got a gambling den with a decent Chohan setup. Gambling den? Oh, from the beginning. Yeah, I've actually been there before. What about it? And it's run by this group originally from Rapongi. Now RK is saying they're owed a piece of the pie. RK really is putting the pressure on the Kamrocho underground, huh? Yeah. The Rapongi crew won't pay up. So I hear RK is gonna come down hard on their place tonight. They wanna make an example out of him. But some guys in the hospital. Maybe even the morgue. Wait, are you saying Soma might be there tonight? <laughs> Who knows? The ones running tonight's show are ex Tojo. Top dogs of RK showing the newbies how it's done. Who'd you hear this from? <laughs> what did I say before? Don't assume you guys are the only ones who know everything. <laughs> I appreciate the lesson. Here we go. What else is there to say, Talk? RK is raiding a gambling den tonight. Remember that tatami room we got acquainted with? Apparently, the people running the room won't pay Soma's gang a cut. So someone there's gonna have some answers. Maybe even Soma himself. Yeah. I think it's worth checking out. All right. Sounds like we should hit up Higashi, too. Let's hit it. All right, Kaito. Nighttime? What's going on here? Doc, we might be right on time. Yeah. Dang, who can't jump? It's time for interrogation. Yagami! Anaki! <coughs> what the hell's going on? It's RK. They've got ex-Tojo members running a raid here. Why? Supposedly, the out-of-towners running it won't pay RK off. And there's even a chance Soma's here. It's a surprising amount of context. <laughs> right. Now let's get in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the song? Alright. 
see what's going on here. Where'd the bodies go? They just went ghost. I just go in here real quick. Oh shit. Stop! We're just customers! Damn. Shut the fuck up, you little shit! Hey, got a minute? Huh? There's still more of you! I know that face. Dude was famous in the Tojo clan. For being a maniac. And there's more like him in here too? Is Soma here with you? Tell me where he is. Enough with your mouth! Okay, our team members. Arm arm. Damn. Uh -huh. Bad mistake, my dude. You're a bogey. Legend of Elegant Snake. Shit. What? Alright, buddy. What a waste. No telling where Soma and his arcade goons are at. Gotta keep our eyes open. Dang, I was ready too. Let's what roll it. Oh, wrong way. Take the elevator. Nope. Everybody's laid out. What's the pin? There we go. What happened to you, buddy? Shit. Oops. Oops. Go this way. Oh, it's too dark. It's too damn dark to see what's around here. Mm. Yeah. There's no way this is a dead end. Should be a way to get the lights on, right? Let's start looking. Light switch at. Uh huh. That's the sprinklers. What the? It was right behind us. God damn it. Oh, that's more like it. Nice and bright. Suspicious. Oh, what have we here? The door with a passcode. Interesting. Hope they don't think this sort of thing's enough to stop us, eh, Tuck? Yo, guessing this is the door we gotta deal with. Just gotta figure out the passcode. Hey, what are we gonna do about this? We might find clues somewhere else. Let's check out this floor. I already know what it is. Hell? You're not about to go gung ho and punch in random numbers, are you? Never know till you try. <laughs> Let's try looking somewhere else. What? Let's hit it. 
load. Hey, got a minute to chat? Please just leave me alone. Oh, I will, don't worry. All I need is the passcode for the door up ahead. Zero five zero eight. Or wait, was it eight zero one zero? Come on, get a grip. Well, I guess I could try both. Either zero five zero eight or eight zero one zero, huh? Better not forget. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. Damn, you okay? All right, now we open this door. No, to the passcode. Zero five zero eight, or eight zero one zero, right? Zero yeah, five zero give eight. it a shot. There we go. Nice. We in this bitch. Oh, they got, they got mustard. What's that? If someone's anywhere in this building, my money's on the that gambling bin. Gambling bin, the Tantani room. Pretty sure Tantani room's up in the fifth floor, so I gotta climb up there. There's gotta be a way upstairs somewhere around here. I'm gonna go look. You two wait here, okay? Yeah. Go handle business talk. Let me go over there first. Doesn't seem to be locked, but the door won't open. Looks like it's barricade from the other side. Gotta head outside and find another way. Here we go again. Come on, come on, y'all, give me. Struggling. Hmm. Looks like I can reach the end of the ducks, and that's my that's where I'm going. All right. Oh, what the? <laughs> he just, he just fell. Oh, oh what? What are you doing? Y'all give me, stop. You're losing health. Holy shit. Nope, stop. Oh my god. Okay, this is not responsive. I'm literally trying to. Y'all give me. Alright, don't fall this time, Yagami. You gotta go to those poles, man. What? What? Oh, I'm, not, I'm holding up. I'm literally holding up, guys. What's he doing? Oh my god, he's freaking out. Log me, it's right there. It's, it's What is he doing? It's right there. Oh my god. So I need to climb up here. 
He's doing a Harlem Shake. Oh, what the f oh man, I'm so dumb. I'm stupid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Spider Man. I think I can get back inside from the rooftop. That's what I went through down there. Alright, here we go. Up there. Oh, I can reach right here. Uh, two. Come on, come on, y'all. Give me, you can make it. Mm. Dog. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Take a breather. We got this. I need to be faster in my wits. There we go. There we go. And Spider Man. Was tough. The hell! I thought we took them all out. Crap! You better get ready. Here we go again. Oh shit! Another soul kick. for a while. I kind of want some Yucca Silva right now. Chill out, my dude. Oh, shit. Storm of Salt. And stay down. Doc, how's it looking? Hey. Just made it to the rooftop and dealt with RK. But you guys are gonna have a hell of a time trying to climb up here. Let me look for another way. Cool. Then we'll wait here a bit longer. This is it. Where should we go at? 
Um, can't climb up there. Aha, what's this? A rope. Grab the rope. Okay. Zombie revenge. Grab the rope. He's struggling. Whew. That kicked my ass. Yagami. <laughs> it did. How did you get all the way up here with your bare hands? Hey, you hear that? More of those guys might be hiding around here. And when we find them, we kill them. Yeah, got it. Aw, oh, shit. What's your call? Taking him down? Yeah. We can take these guys together. Whoa, 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 hang on. That guy in front of the stairs might call for backup. And if that happens, Soma might slip away. I'm gonna have to go stealth on these guys. Go do your oh, thing. Gotta go Metal Gear on we'll that. Jump in if shit hits the fan. Better be careful here. Oh, shit, gotta be while we while we quiet. I'm gonna get caught. So how are we gonna get through here? Oh shit. What are you at? What are you at? What are you at? Oh, I can't go that way. Go this way though. Oh shit, it's lights! Fuck. Oh shit. I'm gonna do this. Definitely some Metal Gear shit. Kobe. Fall. Take down. Go to sleep. Nighty night, bitch. All right, who's next? That's a good boy. That's right. Shit. Bring a lane, ding a lane. I would take that, but fuck it. That's a risk. Are you? No. Take down. Come here, my boy. Give me that neck. Time out. Alright, let's go over here. That was quick. That wasn't that bad at all. Styling. <laughs> Gotta do something about him before I get to the door next door. Kaijo-san, I'm in kind of a tight spot. Mind giving me a hand? What you need, Doc? I'm almost there, but RK's got me kind of pinned down. Can you try to lure him away somehow? Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. Appreciate it. <laughs> the hell was that? Who in the world would fall for such a thing? The hell are their cats fighting? What are they screaming for? <laughs> really? Never mind. Well, Doc, it worked like a charm, you should say. Yeah. That was impressive stuff, Kaito-san. Thanks for the assist. That was impressive. Alright. Okay. Times we're not for we're trying to take these guys out. I mean, kind of sign you guys just saw it. All right, let's go. Stuff again. 
I wish I could move. Oh. Come on, I know you want to get this coin. Bend down. Gotcha. Come here, Blondie. I need night fool. Take some night quill. Alright. Taking that, bud. Oh, come on. Well, give me a minute, guys. Turn back around, my friend. Can I take him down, too? Fuck you, man. Can I take him down? No, I can't. Fuck. No. I'm caught. I'm caught. I'm caught. I'm caught. I'm caught. I'm caught. <laughs> so I need to go around. He ain't see shit. Man, this is some old bullshit. I gotta go all the way around the corner just to do this. You don't see me. Hello? You don't see me, you don't see me. Go to sleep. Shut up, 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 shut up. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Alright. Time out. There we go. Metal gear. Made it through somehow. Hell yeah! <laughs> the tatami room's downstairs. Soma might be there, so we gotta stay on our toes. All right, let's go. Let's roll it. Autobots, let's roll out. Another save room. As well, so there's gonna be a big boss battle here. Let me get my stamina back up. Someone could be up ahead. Let's enter. Help! They'll kill me! Huh? Oh, you Isn't again? that Kosuke kun, right? You never learn, do you? Don't tell me you're here with some poor girl's money again. I'm not! I swear I'm not! You're. Kaito from the Matsugani family, right? Oh, look who else is famous. What are you doing here? You join RK too? <laughs> Dumbass. Don't lump me in with scum like you. Are you the one who put this raid together? What about Soma? Is he not coming? <laughs> you just stepped into some shit you're gonna regret. Hey, he's got backup. Tons of lowlifes, but no Soma. Coming here sure did a fat lot of good. <laughs> you got this, Yagami Detective Agency! <laughs> Please save my life! 
At least we can say we saved fucking Kosuke Kun. <laughs> you know that guy? Lucky him. He's about to get his head split like a melon. Hey! Take care of the latecomers. Then we're done here. Ready? Let's, Let's go. Let's go. All right. Here we go, boys. I got tasers? Let me disarm you. Nani? Ow. Great dance with me. Take that, Saito. Oh, shit. Ah, stop tasing me, bro. I need to help me. No. Tag team. Drop the punch. Whoa. Miss me with that bullshit. Let's get busy. Shit, no, shit, no, shit, no. Oh my god. He's just standing there, man. Really, guys? Exactly, really, guys. <laughs> That's what I want to know, too. Really, guys? That's just going to stand there and watch me get my ass beat? Sumoto san I must say I didn't expect you to invite me here directly. What led you to change your mind? I hope this means I can expect a favorable response. I'm thinking it's time to put an end to this. To what, pray tell? This self-serving black hole of collusion. And how do you plan to do that? By turning myself into the police. As you may have suspected, I murdered Shinya Kawai for what he did to Mitsuru. I did it with my own hands. The same day he was abducted in Kamrocho, five years ago, Kitakata Sensei was my accomplice. If you do that, you'll be branded just another killer. That would be quite a fall from grace, considering just how much you've turned the health ministry around. I'd suggest reconsidering that. We can protect your secret for you. And in exchange, I'll have to do as I'm instructed, correct? As with any organization, our government works within a set of constraints. Everyone has their own opinion of what they believe is best for this country. And only once common ground is established, can progress truly be made. However, you've already forged quite a path of progress on your own. Reforming the health ministry, cracking down on embezzlement and dirty dealings. I promise you, both myself and many others respect such accomplishments. Mm. However, if Reiko Kusumoto were to go from vice minister to murderer, all those achievements would go up in smoke. In fact, the fallout could allow for even worse corruption to take root. As I'm sure you agree, to our country's detriment. Everyone who lives has their secrets. 
If you just let us take care of yours, you can have the peace of mind you deserve. They'll stay buried, deep in the dark. And therein lies the problem. Sawa-san was the only classmate who never stopped coming to see Mitsuru. I was the one who drove her away from my son. Even though... She was the only person at that school who never gave up on him. <sighs> I couldn't control my desire for revenge. A good woman lost her life because of that. <clears throat> and now everyone wants to pretend like she never even existed. No better than back then. Mitsuru's classmates pushed him over the edge and didn't look back. He's waking up. He's waking up, fellas. I don't care what you say. I'm going to turn myself in. I only regret not doing it sooner. Sawa-san wouldn't have had to die. <laughs> well, it turns out you're more naive than I thought. More so than I could have planned against. You still won. You should consider it a victory that I have to resign from my post. When it comes down to it, I'm sure that was your end goal. But you just got too greedy. You thought putting the squeeze on me would net you 160 trillion yen in pensions? Well, that's all going up in smoke. When I turn myself in, that'll be a lost cause. Now scurry off and inform your handlers. Despite all my efforts, it seems you were more of an immovable object than I was an unstoppable force. Well, <laughs> you can't reason with someone willing to lose. Especially if losing means burning it all down. Who's waking up, y'all? <sighs> Nani? Where are we? Hey, Mom. He's awake! He's alive! Mitsuru. from his coma. So, is that all of them? Yeah. Pretty tough for a bunch of gangbangers. <laughs> Come on, Aniki. Why don't you take the bench for a bit? You're still on the mend. Shut the hell up. Whoa. The guy running the game here brought in as many heavy hitters as he could. But RK had so many ex-Yakuza, this place never had a chance. And you guys managed to take them all down. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's not Kinda really possible. why we came, though. You sure you didn't see RK's leader, Soma, anywhere? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wasn't here. I see. So we did all this work for nothing. Uh, you sure you really want to find that guy? If that's the case, I heard some RK members say Soma's giving his orders from Ijincho. Aha. Uh -huh. Then maybe he's been searching for Kuwana over there this whole time. Speaking of which, Tesso's place got raided just this morning. RK was looking for Kuwana. Although, I'm not sure Soma was there either. Well then, sounds like we're done in Kamurocho for now. Should we go back to Ijincho tomorrow? If we meet up with Kuwana somehow, I'm sure Soma will show eventually. Yeah, let's do that. Should go back to the office and rest for the night. We'll head to Ichin Show again tomorrow and find Kawana. Let's go ahead and head to the office with my skateboard. We go. Damn, stupid bike. Oh no, boss oh, shit.
Oh, yes. Bad mistake, buddy. Rebox. Hit. Oh, what? Skills real quick. All right, I think we're good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that a bubble shop? Drugstore, yes. Perfect place I need to be at. I don't want to spend too much. I gotta get some, like, Ito. Uh, it's not the right place. This is it. Get some Beetle. Thank you. Get that Beetle, Beetle. Eat the Beetle. Get the Beetle. Yes. Get some these two. Get some that. Oh, I already got a ticket. Okay, okay. Alright, we're good. Now let's rest up in my office. People make your sacrifice. <laughs> Alright guys. Go over right here. Over here. Up. Yes. All right, time to meet up with Sukumono and discuss our next steps. I'll let you show our key right now. Yo, time to earn our key. Let's roll talk. Let's yes, hear. Give me one second. Let's go ahead and meet up with Kawana. to Yokohama 99. Taxi! Keep up, man. Damn, what you hit, man? What's this? What's this?
Alright. We are heading to Eugene Show. Alright, fellas, what you got for us? Oh, hello, Yagamishi. I'm Pinky, still injured. Hey, you alone? Where's Sugiura? He's out asking around about Kawana-san. Although ever since he skipped out on the Liomong spot, we haven't found a single trace of him anywhere. We're not even positive he's still in Ijincho. Is that right? Rare to see you in a rut. Maybe we didn't need to rush over here. Did Tesso reach out to you at all? No. All of Ijincho's basically been at a dead stop since you last left. I heard Soma's been running RK from somewhere in Ijincho. Yes, but we haven't been able to pinpoint his exact location. I see. That explains the dead stop. I should scoop out what's going on in Ijincho. Hopefully I can find a lead on Kawana and Soma somehow. Next mission. Check up on Jujincho. Watch this. The moment I step outside, it's gonna tell me to come back. Damn, fuck. Yeah! Oh shit. God damn it. See, I told you. Hello? Yo. I heard you're back in town, Yagami. Kuana? that you? <laughs> I'll send someone to bring you to me. So you really are still in Ichincho? Yeah. But we don't want RK or public security joining us. Make sure you're not being followed first. Shake any tales you might have. How? <laughs> you should know that one by now, <clears throat> Mr. Detective. Get to Salvakun's apartment once you know you're good. Her apartment? Yeah. Later. It's time. Shaking any tails I might have, huh? Guess I'd have headed Lu Ming territory. I doubt RK can keep the beat on me. There, I just gotta make jump pull solid medicine act, alright? Hold on, don't run me over. Don't do it. Don't run me over. Head to the Lu Ming. Oh no. You? Let's go. Shit. And let's go this way. Ali? I believe I can fly. Hey, bro. What up, bro? Awfully quiet here today, man. <coughs> I heard our case swept through here. Yeah, they sent two of our guys to the hospital. Busted them up sort of bad. Before we knew it, we were outnumbered. Took one step outside, and it was like we were in another city. Do you think they were after Kiwana? Oh, no doubt about it. He managed to escape, but we don't know where to. He reached out to me not too long ago. I'm on my way to see him, actually. You serious? 
Yeah, but if I went straight there, I'd be leading RK right to him. Gotta slip past anyone tailing me first. <laughs> right. So that's why you came. Here I was, thinking you were checking on your Aniki. Well, that too, but help me out here. Got any secret tunnels around here? You know, for gang stuff? Gang stuff? Well, I figured if you did, I could give RK the slip. You with me? That would be pretty sweet, yeah. So you have one or not? Actually, we do. After all, we've got gang stuff to handle. Gang Come on, stuff? Follow me. Thanks, man. Alright, lead the way. Here we are. Our own little escape route. Guana probably used this when he booked it. <laughs> After I finish this chapter, guys, I'm gonna probably like call it a day until like later tonight. Finish this game once and for all. Gotta get something to eat. Watch the Nintendo Direct for a little bit and then go to work. Dude, your escape route is a sewer? We keep it pretty clean, actually. <laughs> you smell any shit? <laughs> oh, you're right. Follow it to the end and you'll get out at Fukutoku Park. Now this here's for emergencies only, so don't go blabbing about it. We'll see hey, about that premium adventure. Though, I think I should disguise myself before I head down. There's no way RK could pick up my tail if I come out of here looking totally different. Good thinking. <laughs> I like your style. Looking sharp. You do this a lot, don't you? <laughs> I guess I'm pretty good at it by now. Okay, ready to hop in? It's a straight path, but it's dark down there. I could guide you if you want. Nah, yeah, I don't want Pennywise to catch me. Besides, Kiwana <laughs> probably still feels bad about getting your place raided. <laughs> if that's true, tell him that I don't see it that way for me. RK's the only ones on my shit list right now. I'm booting their asses out of Ijincho for good. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear it. Thanks again. to the dungeon. <clears throat> that worked, right? I should have lost any arcade tails by now. Kwana said he'll spend some... <clears throat> said spend. Kwana said he'd send someone to get me in front of Saw Sensei's apartment. Time to go. Time to die. Close one, son. Oh shit, no. Disarm your gun. Ooh. 
really my head. Really, guys? Alright. Let's resume. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go. All right. Nice outfit, Yagami son. Akaike kun. You really are wrapped around Kawana's finger, aren't you? <laughs> Please, just get in. I'll take you to Sensei. Just you today? Where are your classmates? Beats me. Seems like he doesn't need much help today. Oh. This is that boat they converted into a museum, right? Yeah, but it's empty around this time. Head out here, catch a little Corey. Hopefully, we'll get around. some remake at Nintendo Direct. Oh. Thanks for the streams. Kwana Anytime. Next little uh, I'll be back after this. streaming later on tonight to play this game. <laughs> That's a question for Sensei, not me. I think I might be almost done. Sorry to make you come all the way out here. Being a wanted man sucks. Pretty sweet digs for a wanted man. Hey, this place has all the escape routes I could ever need. No one around to get caught in the crossfire either. <clears throat> Funny time to start caring about how your actions affect others. Akaike, mind giving me and Yagami-san some space? Go ahead, Yagami-san. Also, Grande Blue Marino. I feel awful for dragging Tesso into this. RK only trashed his place because I was there. Those damn thugs really don't give a rat's ass about the Liumon. It's public security who doesn't give a rat's ass. There's nowhere in Japan you can escape them. By the way, there's a good chance Soma's an undercover public security agent, ever since his Tojo clan days. He's public security? Yeah. If we can drag him out of whatever hole he's in, we might find out who's at the very top of this. And until the truth is exposed, he'll be hunted forever. Well, that's concerning. Sawa Sensei's murder, Mikoshiba's murder, everything has to come to light. And in a way that public security can't sweep it under the rug, I think Ahara's appeal hearing is going to be the perfect time to expose it all. When you say expose it all, you mean Kusumoto-san too, right? I won't lift a finger to betray her. This conversation is pointless. Even if that's what killed Sawa-sensei? Because there is a point. Your judgment's just too clouded to see it. Do you really know what Mitsuru was like 13 years ago? Then you have no right to speak to me that way. Hmm. I'm facing the reality of bullying head-on. The rest of the world is content to turn a blind eye to the problem. 
Our whole society. They make a show of it when a kid commits suicide. But nothing changes about the reasons why. And every time, some bully with tears in his eyes always has the exact same line. I had no idea they would ever kill themselves. Yeah. They have no idea how their cruelty affects the person on the receiving end. You know why? Because they've never suffered. They don't know what it means to feel unsafe. I take care of that. I show them how much they've taken their safety for granted. Their actions need to have consequences. Even if they don't realize until it's too late. Go on. Sounds like Dr. Kirin. There are kids out there fearing that they have to go to school tomorrow. Like Mitsuru. Every kid like him deserves justice. So I had to become what I am to see it done. I know exactly what you're saying, all too well. In fact, I know so well that it scares me. But if you let your sense of justice guide you totally unchecked, you'll eventually lose control and end up in a pretty dark place. You'll rationalize the sacrifices, whatever justice takes. For example, Sawa Sensei's death at the hands of Soma. Enough! Real justice has nothing to fear from the truth. Otherwise, you wouldn't turn away. So come on. Until you and Reiko Kusamoto turn yourselves in, public security won't give up. Don't you get it? If you end up caught by them now, you're gonna disappear for good. Yeah. It would be a good time to disappear. What? I'll do it on my own terms, though. Public security won't find me. I knew the day would come that I'd have to trigger my exit strategy. It pays to have underground connections. Oh, you think it would be that easy, do you? I'm sure you know. A serial killer can't hide. Right. Every person that I've murdered deserved what they had coming. I won't stop doing it. There's dirty work to be done. And I don't mind being society's handyman. Whatever it takes. Thirteen years ago when Mitsuru jumped off that roof, I knew I'd spend the rest of my life atoning. It's the only way I can think of that will give Mitsuru what I didn't give him then. I don't really care what becomes of me either. I owe him. And I'm going to finish what I started. Okay. So why'd you bring me out here then? You seem pretty set. Were you hoping I was gonna pat you on the back for it? Hardly. I wouldn't expect a guy who drew his line in the sand to suddenly come around. But... Maybe that's exactly why I spilled my guts to you in the first place. What do you mean? A Harasan should be the one carrying this thing. I hate to ask, but would you mind passing it along? What's this? You're the only one I can trust with it now. Isn't this... Toshiro? That locket has my final message to Ehara-san in it. I was supposed to help him get justice for his son, but I'm not going to be able to see it through. Well, I guess the rest is up to him. As soon as I'm out of here, my face and my name are going to have to be changed. Were you thinking I was just going to watch as you walked away? <laughs> You're really gonna make this a dramatic breakup? Stop it. I'm not gonna back down on this. Years ago, a girl died because I didn't chase the truth to the end. Her name was Emi Terasawa, and I'll never forget her. Murderers tend to follow a rule. They have no problem killing again to protect their secrets. That's you, Reiko Kusamoto. It's still gonna apply. Called it, I suppose. I half knew that you would pull this shit instead of saying goodbye. If you run, I won't chase you. There may be a trail of death in your wake, but in court, I'd have nothing that would stick. Even if I brought you down, the only thing that'd keep you from escaping are the bars of a jail cell. So what now, then? Until you finally realize that you need to turn yourself in, I'll need to be persuasive. For you, Reiko Kusamoto, I firmly believe that the two of you can still be saved. 
I swear. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Oh, cutthroat. This Soma. is Soma. You've got to be the last boss. What case here? How the hell could they have figured out where we'd be? Listen up. Kitakata Sensei stays alive. As for Yagami, if killing him means he doesn't escape, that's fine. I made sure I wasn't tailed on the way here. We both did. Neither of us could have led them out here. I know for damn sure we're too careful for that to happen. That means there's only one guy they could have tailed to find us. It was a Kaike. Public security figured out that there's a connection between me and him. Are you aware of the implications of that? Is figuring that out right now really all that important? It's Kusumoto-san. She knows him. She's the only connection between me and Akaike. What? I'm saying, Kusumoto-san decided to sell me out. Something happened that caused her to change her mind. Public security, I guess. Yakuza. Oh man, here we go. Remember earlier? Didn't you say something about this ship having a bunch of escape routes? A bunch of escape routes great for a party of one. Fine. Why are you still here? Well, I thought you wanted to persuade me. I admit, I was interested in hearing you spin some more of your bullshit. <laughs> you got it. Now I'll have time to think. What is the holdup? Hurry up and take them. Yo, these guys have a whole bag of tricks up their sleeves. Take out their legs so they can't run. Forgot? Looks like they finally upgraded us to the RK Big Shots. Yeah. But they're gonna be sorry they messed with us all the same. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do this shit. Come on. Oh shit. And my everybody get off my dick. Yeah. Rebox. Alright, it's time to get drunk on you fools. There's too many of you. Actually I can't get drunk, fuck. Aha! Show me what your mama gave ya. Break dance on your ass. Get up. Hey man, you need to chill out with that bullshit. Is this the boat from Dynamite Decker? <laughs> uh, I guess you can make the comparison to that. Actually, hold on. Let's see if they has the hanger. It kind of does look like it. But they have pirates, unfortunately. Oh, fuck me. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, run, run. Alright, let me get my help. Who got a gun? This motherfucker got a gun. We gotta take him down. I'm not getting caught three times again. Nope. Oh, 
Ah, shit. Oh my god. This man definitely pulling off a Bruno Dillinger on me. God damn. Oh, you bitch. Oh my god. I got something for his ass. Let me get up. Fuck you, man. Oh my god. He almost killed me. <sighs> Are we really struggling to take out two guys? RK is going to be a joke if this keeps up. I thought you boys were the Tojo clan's finest. Your work really shouldn't be an embarrassment. It's about time for plan B, huh? Are you saying you've got another trick up your sleeve? Yeah, but it kind of sucks. So I wouldn't get your hopes up. Then try to run. You're not going anywhere. Got your get off me. Stop. There's nowhere to run. Pull up. There you go, Bruno Dillinger. Ooh. Mr. Datamite. Chick show. All dirty up. Hold on to this. Defeat the arcade members. All right. Uh, all right, guys. I'm I'm gonna be done for now. Uh, I will be back later on tonight. Hopefully by 10 p.m. ish Eastern time. Uh, I'm gonna finish up Lost Judgment and then maybe fool around in Premium Adventure. Um, thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Mr. Den, for coming. Um, this game is it's getting interesting. I can't wait for like towards the end. I can't wait to get this game finished and then try to unlock some more features that I haven't like tried on the game yet uh, but yeah I'll see you guys later on tonight so we're, we're gonna finish Lost Judgment one way or the other all right guys take care <laughs>